I was gonna, I was gonna say something embarrassing. Oh, oh shit! I, I done broke the interwebs. So oh, what happened? We went live. Uh, oh, shit. That's that was a problem, huh? There's your problem. Yeah. Hi, ladies and germs. So, uh, welcome to uh, TNT podcast number ninety-five. Yep. Numbers just keep getting higher and higher. Yeah. I keep thinking we're gonna do something special for one hundred, but we probably won't. Yeah. Like the guys on that show I watch, Reckless Scene, they're like, "Yeah, for episode one hundred, we'll like make out," but they get he getting closer and like, "Fuck, we gotta do it." So, I apologize for no music this week, folks. I uh, I uh, just found out tonight I was going to be hosting, and uh, I am lazy. Yeah. So, yeah. Ian's Ian's from an undisclosed location. Yep. Uh, you do. You do need to figure out some way, even if you don't. Like to use that voice meter. I, I think there's other shit you can use to yeah. play shit. You know. Mm-hmm. I used yeah. to use that. Uh. Uh. What was it? Uh. I forget. I mean, I still have it installed, but it was. It's like you have to open up a separate window for every kind of connection that you wanted to make. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was some kind of like audio codec thing, you know? Mm. But, yeah, uh, no. No, I haven't fucked with any of that. <laughs> like I said, I've done, what was it, like five of our 95 episodes, so... <laughs> yeah. I'm sure uh, I'm hey, least sure I can get to it, but... At least it adds to your channel. <laughs> I mean... Uh, Sorry. Polishing off a half a can here. No, we can get into that. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Blah. Soda talk with Frank and Ian. What you drinking yeah. on there, Padre? I'm drinking on I got a six pack of the good old regular uh, Code Red. And then I have a Sprite and some water. I have Baja Blast here, but getting a little bit Baja Blasted out. Uh you getting Baja blasted? Yeah. They should make they should make that like a different strain of weed man. <laughs> I bet it is. Yeah, probably. We get it, you vape. I wonder when like was that always like a thing with like you know like the idea like people who are like Jamaican or like into the Jamaican culture or like always try to get high, you know? Uh, I don't know. Rastafarians do it for the religion, I guess. Uh, I don't know. But interesting. I'm, I'm Catholic slash Baptist. We just suffer. There's like a lot of like different cultures though that had some kind of like, you know, like some kind of pipe that they were smoking on back in the day, like the Native Americans and all that stuff. It's like every everybody did some crazy shit, you know. Peyote. You know, you, you you walk around the desert. Do a spiritual journey. What else are you gonna do, right? Yeah. So anyway. I'm, I'm I'm sure people really thought that like it opened up doorways to different dimensions or something, you know? Right. Have you ever seen um The Last Temptation of Christ? No. Nah. It's based off a book that came out in the uh fifties and it's got um Jesus is I'm fucking drawing a blank. It's um now it's gonna bother me. Talk to bunch yourselves. <laughs> Hi internet. This is Hi Internet. Do, 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 do. Uh did what else do you got? You obviously you got the amount of ice. The is Jesus. Oh, okay. That's who I was thinking of. Jesus. But no, like when he sees John the Baptist, 
he's what you would imagine an actual Baptist would have been like. Like, you know, every adaptation I had seen as a white Christian, he was always like, you know, the, like, look like the ghost of Christmas present. He was like a big fat dude in a robe. No, no, this is some crazy man in, in a diaper with crazy hair going, <laughs> <laughs> and he would dunk your ass underwater, and that made him a Baptist, so. Yeah. But. Would, would you ever do that shit where you're like, I don't know, for like charity or something, where you'd be like one of those people that will get like sit up on a thing and somebody tries to throw a baseball and then they hit the target, you get dunked oh, or dunk whatever. Tank? Yeah. No. No, I, I'll just give uh, them no. money. No. <laughs> like, I'll just give money. Yeah, I'll be like, here you go, man. Whatever you were going to pay to toss the fucking ball at my ass, no. So it's it's just, even if it's just water, nothing like crazy gross. Nah, no, not not even, it doesn't have to be ice water, just regular water. It could be like tepid. Like, even if it's like a nice like hot tub or something, huh? Why, why would someone want to throw me in a hot tub, Ian? That, that's kind of uh, I don't know. <laughs> you so dumb. <laughs> well, anyway. I guess people just like to do it just to surprise them, you know, because it's like you don't you don't expect to be falling like five feet, you know. Well, like uh, a guy at my work and I were talking about, <clears throat> I kind of got the, uh, you remember um, Doug Stanhope in his yeah. comedy stand-up, he did about like the people who donate to the charities for doing a Sunday fun run, they're just doing it because they want attention. If you really wanted to just help the fucking charity, you'd write a check. You don't fucking, it's about me. I'm going to run so many kilos and no, just cut a fucking check. It's not about you. It's about kids with cancer. And I'm like, yeah, what? like I went to Tim Hortons. Want to donate $2 to sink his the camp? No, we'll give you a bracelet. The, the bracelet probably costs $2. Why don't you just give the fucking kids the $2? Yeah. I don't, I don't need a shitty I bracelet. I want your money. I don't, I don't understand it. Anyway, well, I think some of those is just like the whole raise awareness and stuff, you know. Sure. It's like they just—it's just like a feel-good th thing, you know. I mean, nah. just do like Peta did and have uh, Sarah McLaughlin playing over sad puppies, like have them cry, you know, have it playing over like sad bald people, and you'd be like, okay, here's my fucking money. <laughs> Make the shit go away oh. from my TV. Oh, my God. Oh. So, anyway. But Speak it, speaking of puppies, hey, oh. I have Zoe here. <laughs> Zoe, come here. Is she the black one? Yeah. Okay. I was trying to remember it. It's been a while since I've seen your parents' dogs. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What kind is she? She's a black lab. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I just uh, found a. I just seen today that they they have our our do, uh, former dog Bella's ashes on the fireplace here mm -hmm. in the living room. Yeah. I, for those listening, I Ian and I have talked about it off air, but I haven't felt comfortable discussing on the show. We had a. a Jack Russell that we had to say goodbye to recently and we have her ashes so yeah but but so now it's just the two schnauzers a miniature and a giant yeah they're uh she's definitely a lot younger she's getting fatter though uh oh is that on purpose are they overfeeding her <laughs> I don't know she's a well she's I think like black labs and stuff, I think they will like there's there's that in like different types of dogs, I guess that will they'll mm -hmm. eat more until they you know like get sick. Mm. Yeah. I uh our dog, like our big one, his weight fluctuates. We were like I felt like I was starving him, so we I you know gave him more food and he went to the vet and he's overweight. But the vet's like, well, how much do you feed him? So my wife told him, and he's like, well, you should actually be eating more than that. Well, 
So are we still underfeeding him and he's overweight? I don't I don't know. So we're working on it. I mean he's not yeah. morbidly obese or nothing. He's hundred and fifteen pounds, he's supposed to be ninety. Last yeah. time I checked he was fucking ninety, so I don't know where it's going. It's not like he's got a big gut hanging down like I've got. All right. And I've lost weight. It's just sitting down. I look chubby. <laughs> well, it's like whenever you're like, especially if you like crouch and stuff that like puts all your your stuff into the one place, you know. Stuff. Well, at work, I told you I wear scrubs. <clears throat> That's all I'm going to say. And I uh, got a set out Monday. I usually get like triple X, double X. I grabbed a large pair. I put them on. I could wear large scrubs. Okay, cool. Then I sit down to get in my car. Mm, good thing I don't sit at a desk in these. <laughs> Standing <laughs> up, I look fine. Can't nothing. Mm, nope. Well, it's like sometimes it's like your uh, different people are like they have undistributed weight or whatever. So it's mm -hmm. like uh, they would be. In like a normal size, if it was in first like a certain section, you know, like mm -hmm. having like a giant gut, but like everything else is like skinny. Big it's kind of like how, them. yeah, it, it's kind of like how they. I remember somebody made a a comment on one of La Beast video or his live stream or something where they're like, "How how come you're fat and thin at the same time?" Whoa. <laughs> Could. But, uh, He's trying to get swollen. I'm swole. You're swole. But, uh, anyways, uh, what have you been up to, man? Mostly work. Um, I told you we bought an AC unit, but my wife and I have not been home together at the same time with enough daylight to put it in when it hasn't been raining. And it's a two-man job because one has to screw it into the windowsill while the other holds it to keep it from falling off the second story. So I'm not tackling that by myself. we got to have two of us do it. But I also ordered a new... We, my wife ordered a new uh, modem router because the one we have, even if it's just one person watching 1080p television um, with a wired connection with power line adapters, it still drops off. And really? disconnect. Yeah, and like sometimes the modem will just, sh sh re I guess, reboot because the Wi-Fi disappears for a couple minutes. So we're like, well, let's go ahead and get another. So we got another router coming, but it's not going to be here till Saturday because, of course, it's come through the fucking post office. <laughs> I've been in receiving for a long time. Fucking hate the post office. So what's 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 your order of carriers? Um, you mean best to worst? People say UPS is better than FedEx. Yeah. No. Well, FedEx is technically two different companies. A lot of people don't realize that uh, FedEx Air is is different from uh, Ground. The Ground used to be another service, and they got bought out. But a lot of their drivers are the same. So, the same that used to be, like for the old company. So, they're. Granted, you could still look up their stuff online for tracking numbers and shit, but they're totally separate companies, so it's two different companies, uh, not counting freight. And then U UPS, they're... Th I don't know. E they're e either one is okay, as long as they don't give it to the fucking post office in between. <laughs> and then DHL is just retarded. At yeah, the post office, that's for, like, they do lo the local part of it, right? Well, like, if you order something from China, it'll come to your fucking house from the post office. If you have something coming from UPS, sometimes it'll come to your house. Same with FedEx, though. Sometimes it'll go straight to the post office. It'll be like, all right, I got a tracking number. I'm, I'm good. And delivered to post office for final delivery. I'm like, son of a bitch. I'm blocks from, I can walk to it in, like, there and back in five minutes. And I'm like, hey, I got a package. Oh, you're going to come around after we close. 
why? I, I get it if the guy was driving around with it on his truck. Because, I, I, like I said, I do shipping and receiving. I understand. If the guy delivers it and it's on his truck, he's not going to have it for me to pick up. But they leave a note saying, oh, our carrier will deliver it tomorrow. My wife has chased the guy down. Oh, I don't have it. It's back at the fucking post office. Why didn't you just leave a note saying pick it up at the post office? Yeah. So, yeah, I... I I, they could they could all fucking lose their job. I wouldn't care. <laughs> if you're if you're not good at your job, you shouldn't have it. I'm not for right. private. I'm not for privatizing everything. Like when they say let's privatize prisons, no, don't do that. Let's privatize. Prisons. And then that's making a profit of people being in there. Yeah. The see, no, mm, no, I don't. But yes, yes, FedEx and UPS, and to some point in other countries, DHL is better. In the U.S., they're not worth the fuck. <laughs> yeah. The guys that the guys they hire are like, well, some of the guys I went to high school with, and they weren't the brightest of the bright then. And then the guys that I didn't know personally that deliver now, they're retarded too. Right. Was well, is, is that why I really then like the Amazon, like the two day shipping that that really is a sweet <clears throat> spot because if you really, it's not really worth it if you pay any. For any like faster because it's like the faster you, service you try to get the it's like the less guaranteed it is isn't it well i mean prime prime the prime program is awesome because it has all those perks but oh well, yeah but the two-day shipping is actually like it sounds great but they've actually kind of dropped back on it like not officially but in our experience when we order stuff that's prime even we make sure that we buy it straight from Amazon, not some third party seller. And it'll say prime shipped. Okay. Okay. It won't ship for two, three fucking days. And then by the time they ship it, it takes two days. Well, it took a week already. What's the point of getting it prime? Yeah. Uh, or it's like, what's worth paying $50 for like one day shipping when, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times that people have had problems getting it. Yeah. Like a couple of days later or something. What was that story? I had a money. lady who bought toilet paper and it, uh, cost her like three thousand dollars or some shit. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But no, they've lately everything my wife gets through Amazon that has been primed the last month, I guess. Every order she's got has come through the fucking post office. So there's the first problem. Fuck you, Donald Trump. The post office is giving Amazon up. No, they're fucking everything up. Bezos should just have dudes driving trucks with a fucking big. Smiley face on the side for fucking Amazon. He can give it to Brown. Brown actually, and from what I've seen, handles the majority of the of uh, the Amazon packages, uh, unless they're really small, and then they go to the post office. And uh, back to square one. So anyway, would you? What like I want to know is what uh, if. If you buy some toilet paper that's shit, is it like always wiping itself? Then? No, you're buying John Wayne toilet paper, tough as hell, and don't take shit off of nobody. <laughs> okay, so what have you been up to, Ian? Uh, not not a whole lot. Just uh, I was hanging out with my friend uh this week. Uh, for a couple of days and with their kids, you know. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> well, your, have you have your, you your friend? It's Being it's a complicated posts? friend. Oh, it's complicated. That's a status on Facebook. Yeah, it's like real complicated. What? Wow, what 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 headphones are those? I, those cans look huge. Oh, these are the uh, these are my uh, Pioneer Bluetooth headphones. I was. I was trying to get them to pair with my tablet, but it wouldn't pair for some reason. It, it pairs just fine with my phone. I, I play music on them all the time, and they're they're pretty nice for that. So mm. I, I I tried this. Uh, it's a, a four pole uh, cord that I bought online. I'm you know that has like the it's supposed to have the microphone and stuff in it. So mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure. Like it, it's weird because it came in like the each you know like each channel and like a separate cord does, does that help the audio i always wondered about that well 
A, it makes it flatter, so it probably is neater. And then it keeps it separated because otherwise it might get twisted. They probably want to isolate and insulate as best they can. So well, it, it doesn't. Go ahead. It has it has to have its own ground then in each thing because yeah, the left and right, and then uh, the you know the microphone. So I'm sh I'm sure there's like usually when I like try to cut them and see them a lot of times they have it's like a a thinner ground wire for each one. If it's a microphone, you said four pole. Yeah, you're supposed to have you know there's four wires usually there's the left right and microphone and then the ground right but there's only in this there's there's just three so uh, this but it's a four pole so mm -hmm. i don't know where the ground is i'm assuming that they like i said usually i've seen it where there's the ground wires and like each of them you know so mm -hmm. I, I don't know mm -hmm. i i've seen tutorials where people when they're trying to make their own cords where they would say like these kind of cords and like join the the two separate ground wires together or something. Mm -hmm. Right, because it might, it's might like, be a, a shared ground for both. Yeah, but I guess if you it's supposed to help the audio quality if you have like if you make the thicker like the doesn't usually thicker wires help it a little bit. <laughs> it can. I mean, you got more you know room to flow juice. That's why coax is better better than you know other like forms of cable but uh, yeah it's like a hose right <laughs> yeah i mean tr for, for the whole audiophile thing there's whole you know guys that just like uh, you've seen them drop thousands of dollars on just fucking power cables yeah. before you before you even get into the shit that's attached to the thing that goes to your ears so yeah well, I wonder how many audio files because it's like at that point, I bet you a lot of them try to do their own tinker with their own shit because it's like they're Man. just not happy with anything, you know? I mean, a lot of the ones that I see on YouTube and stuff are the rich guys who, or like that guy that we were looking at on the uh, battle stations last week who had a fucking Marantz in his room and in his living room. Yeah, $1,500 just for one component. But I can't say anything. My fucking amp's worth seven hundred dollars. So, and it's just for audio. It doesn't have a mic mic anywhere on it. What kind of amp did you have again? I have a Audio GD. Oh, okay. What it's a Chinese company? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, how expensive are those shit stacks? Well, it depends on which model you get because they got the the newest one is uh if. You're getting a was it mag? I always get confused. The Magni and the Modi or Modi, uh, the th yeah, the like the Modi aren't yeah, those the, like the silver color ones? They're most of their shits. Most of shits shit is silver or black. Um, okay, you'll get a uh, the you can either get the two or the Uber, the Uber edition, or the latest one is the three. Uh, the three they say is basically powerful enough to handle everything. Uh, I can show you some videos. The guy, the one of the main headphone guys I watch, got all three like the first edition, second, or is it second edition, second Uber, and then the three? I don't know. He took them and was like, okay, I took them off. Here's the board and actually what the components are. And he's like, I noticed this difference, this difference. And he actually like sticks different headphones in each one to hear the fucking difference. I don't care that much. <laughs> I just want to make sure it can drive. Something with uh, like heav heavier drivers require more power to move. That's just a fact. Yeah, right. Like, like these things, I could I could use them on my phone, but it would sound like shit. It'd be like a whisper, a little whisper. Yeah, and I don't want that. I gotta have. I don't need thumping bass all the time, but if I if I have the headphones to do it, why the fuck not? So, but I go ahead. They 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 like to do the uh. They like they have the things separate. That's why they make them stackable, right? They have the stack and amp <clears throat> usually separated. Uh, yeah, they're well, like the whole idea. The whole idea of an external sound card is to get it away from the electronic noise, and then they're connected by an RCA cable, um, and to make them cool and take up less space on your desk, they're stackable. Um, but then that's really up to you where you want to put them. 
uh, I've got right. a I've got an amp deck unit that's just one unit, but it's the size of a fucking VCR. Yeah, I was gonna ask: Is there a benefit to having them separate? Or I mean, you're getting into splitting hairs. I mean, I told you there was a guy who had them put his own electrical pole on his fucking property so he wouldn't be part of their grid so he would get cleaner power to his shit. Yeah, right. I mean, at that point, sure. There might be a benefit, but anytime you're adding a link to it, there's a, a point of failure if you're looking at it from an engineering standpoint. See, this is also the fucked up part. I, I have an engineering degree, just enough to know a thing or two to make me think I know something. Yeah. I hear that train a coming. It's rolling <laughs> around the bin. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Ian's on the wrong side of the tracks. Yeah. I'm from the wrong side of the tracks. Uh, I want. I wonder if they do. Uh, since they make them stackable, I wonder. Besides a DAC and amp, if they make anything else that you can add on top, like maybe a small mixer or something. Well, they have uh, what they call a decrapifier, which is really just a uh, ground isolator to keep you from getting noise. Oh, okay. Because uh, you know the shit. It's 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 a pun because the way it's spelled. So like decrapifier. And all their other stuff is named after Norse gods. So, like, uh, they have that, and they have um, not a whole lot of things. Like, they have, obviously, phono, you know, amps. If you want to run an amp that'll for your phono player. Um, but not, no, just DAX, amps, and um, what was the other fucking thing? Um, well, damn it, now I'm going to have to look. Bobby? Mm. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. Shit. I was looking. I was considering getting a Jotunheim for a minute, but for the cost, I got, I got what I have cheaper. So, oh, for four hundred bucks, you can get a Jotunheim, which is uh, their balanced uh, DAC amp as a XLR uh, balanced output, and it's a preamp, so you can run powered monitors through it. All right. Well. It What's like the general, the general prices though? The stacks are they like along the lines of what you got or um products? Well, you mean uh what shit products? Yeah. Well, I mean if you uh sorry had spit there if you get um a deck you it depends on what you're wanting to spend because you can buy a a Mahdi 2 for 100 bucks, and then a amp, if you just want a headphone amp, you can get a Magni 3, which is another 100 bucks, or you, you can get the Jotunheim, which is, like I said, a, it's a dual mono DAC. Well, does that come with the DAC module, though? I can't remember. Because uh, it used to be 500 bucks. Let's see. Specs, yeah, the module here. If you oh, you could do a multi bit that bumps the price up to 599. Uh, balanced DAC makes it 499, so 500 bucks, or you could do a phono, which is still 499. So, well, that 399 price tag doesn't count the DAC module, so you can get it without a DAC and run a separate DAC, or you can uh, uh, what they call their bifrost amp, or sorry, not bifrost, their multi bit. Uh, DAC is supposed to be the higher, um, higher specs, but once you start getting into those ridiculous ranges that only dogs can hear, oh yeah, I, I assume I don't. Let me screen share here. If I get this on this, I can't get no. Okay, I couldn't see what I was doing. Okay, so this is, like I said, a Jotunheim. It's got dual uh, XLR ins and outs or RCAs and has a USB connection. And that, that was another question I had because, mm -hmm. uh, like I was saying, a lot of times you see the separate uh, wires bundled like this is with RCA type things. Uh, why do they usually do that with like the amps and DACs and stuff instead of just having 
you know, like the 3.5 or like a, a larger, you know, like fourth inch? Mm, mm. Pro- I, don't, I don't know why. Our, I don't know the difference between RCA and uh, three and a half. I mean, they make adapters to where you can just uh, for like um, studio monitors I was looking at, you can they come with uh, RCA inputs, but then you can put adapters in them and make them hey. something else. Hey! Oh, shit. What up, dog? The boss is back. Man. We thought you were dead. <laughs> okay, I, I want to put this out there. Okay? So the whole world can see it. Google Hangouts. Yeah. Fix your fucking iOS app, you sons of bitches. I've tweeted you. I've sent crash reports. You fucking garbage ass app. <laughs> and you fucking garbage ass bullshit. You need to fucking fix your fucking shit. Oh, fuck. Well, well you know what the problem, Doug, was? was your uh, It was just your iOS. Should have got a Mac. I have a Mac. <laughs> well, why didn't you get on Hangouts on the Mac? Should have yeah, gotten a Windows phone. Because <laughs> what you're looking at here is the like phase two of me setting up my office, and phase two didn't include uh, setting up the computer until I thought it was ready. So yeah. Uh. Hold on here. Sorry. Your room is like Frank's day. You can't. It's dark. Uh, that's because. The, this actual office is an attic, which doesn't have a, a specific hooked up light. Well, right now it's light from TV and light from small light up there. So, mm. so yeah, it's still a fucking mess behind me, but huh, phase three soon, beginning soon. Gotcha. Well, good to so, have you back, dog. Yeah, man. You're. I know the couple times I was trying to get you on. You're like, it's yeah, it's like the Googles is is being Hangouts is being a bitch. Oh no, it's afraid of being a fucking bitch now. <laughs> oh yeah. What? Well, I mean, did you try uh, like one of your older Windows computers or like an Android? I mean, there's other OSs to test that shit on. There is no Windows computer I have that's new enough to support. Uh, uh, even beyond that, the uh, the only Android thing I have in my house currently is something that I use just for small busy work, and it's so old, everything would be super choppy. I wouldn't even be streaming to you anything close to high definitions. Mm. <sighs> it would have been me going... E- Gotcha. Hey, I had my, I was running the show for a while on a XP machine. Yeah. Cause XP is better than seven. Ooh. And eight uh. and ten. Uh. <laughs> uh. Excuse me, damn. Ian, did you not email me uh anything for this week? Cause I thought no, you I, did, but I was looking I at did. it and realized it was old. I did. There uh should, there should be one in there about a. Uh, uh, it, the news articles start off with uh, check out the semi closed loop liquid uh, nitrogen cooler. Derp, 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 derp. I could try writing a brand new email if you want. Well, hold on because everything I've got it looks like it's all links that I've already clicked because I replied and then I was like, oh, that's old. Well, anyway, Doug, um, how are you doing, sir? Not too bad. Are you getting swell tonight? Hmm. Right after I leave off of you guys, which will probably be around around one, assuming we go that long. <laughs> are you new? 
Well, we started late tonight, so yeah, probably. But uh, yeah, it's shoulders and abs night. Mm. Now leg day, yeah. Huh? Uh, leg day is not until shit. I might do some legs tomorrow, possibly. Mm. Now, what? Why do you? Uh, is that like a standard where you uh, do just like the the different groups? Is there like any benefit to doing the two together? Because you would you would think you would want to do like abs and like a like a chest or something closer together. Well, or is it better well, to keep them like farther away parts to the body? When you start thinking about it, um, you generally want to do the body parts that complement each other, like. Uh, in the, in the case of, like, most people will do chest day and triceps because when you're working chest, you're working triceps a lot. And they'll do back and buys because when you're doing certain back exercises, you have to use your the biceps as a secondary. So uh, nine times out of ten, you're going to find people who either will group it like that. They will do uh, shoulders and abs because – a lot of times when you do a certain shoulder workouts, you have to engage your core. Um, but things like that is what you're going to generally run into. Uh, but there are some people, like uh, I just switched over to this program. The program I was doing before was literally one body part a day. So like, there's so many different styles. There are people who just do upper body one day and lower body another. Just It, it just happens. Some people do heavy light days. You, know, you, you run into... No, so many different programs. It's insane. <clears throat> well, Ian, first, did you want to do some uh, setups, sir? Yeah, did you find the email? Mm, I'm, uh, no. I'm, I'm refreshing my email, and I has I has nothing. Ha! Huh. Did you check your junk? Uh, you can check my junk. Nope. Okay. While we're waiting, I sent it. Then while we're waiting, uh, let let let's see what your uh your uh battle stations are. Uh, well, oh, there's Ian's email. Here we go. <laughs> that was convenient. All right. Hold on. Yeah, sure. Like in the what, one of the news articles. What is your theme for uh, tonight, Mr. Ian? Well, I, I looked through and it looked, looked like some interesting uh, average battle station setup. So I figured we go through and, you know, like, don't try to pick apart, like, too much, like, oh, yeah, this is, you know, you're trying to look for, like, really high quality shit. Just try to, try to look for how they, we should, you know, like, they could improve it to, because, like, I think some guys uh, thought it was, like, Almost getting trying trying to get into the battle stations, you know. Yeah, a lot of guys are like, "Oh, those guys are a bunch of elitist pricks," and it's like, "Well, yes and no." But yeah, it's like not battle station worthy yet, but trying to be. I mean, more like bitty station. <laughs> it it's it's about seeing, you know, what they can do and uh, how to improve. Mine's not, you know, ready for prime time yet either, so I can't, I can't uh, say n much. But anyway, this first station here got a Dell monitor, Corsair uh, mouse. What kind of keyboard is that? It's a small keyboard. Advent. Never heard of it. Um, and he's got a carpet. Rolled up there. Hmm. I mean, other than the fact that uh, his coats are kind of in the way, it's <laughs> like, I mean, really, you know, you work with what you got. I just, that would get Is that like fucking, in a closet? I you know, I can't tell. I think maybe. Some guys are like, <laughs> look, look at my closet set up. Closet or closeted. Someone says, why is it? Why is it right in front of the door? Only place in the house where nobody uses the front door anyway. Oh no. Oh. I mean, you know, you know, it's interesting when the door, the window right there, has paint over the glass. 
it's a it's an area they don't give a shit about. They just said, "Here, man, and well, I can put a computer in there." <laughs> Which I mean, the desk is nice. It looks clean. You know, if if I was like you know, eighteen and had my first place, and someone gave me this, I'd be like, "Oh man, dope." Yeah, I can understand that. Totally. I I'd find a new place to hang up my coats, and I'd sit down and game my ass off. So it's I. Right. It's I. Right. I mean, you know, it could it could use you know a couple of little things to make it stand out and be you know. Show his personality, not, hey, I got a room, I put my computer in there. It's not an area to make his, and it, they're work, working with what they got. So Yeah. yeah. That's, all I, that's all you can really do in life, you know? Now this one, what the fuck? What the fuck? <sighs> See, someone's desktop is invisible, so I'm an average boy. Cause, no, no. The rule of battle stations is you must show your tower. This guy didn't show his tower, so they said, no, you got to... All he had to do was include a picture of the fucking thing. It doesn't, <laughs> right. have, to be, it doesn't have to be in the room. What if he's one of those jackholes who like, I installed my computer underneath the desk. Brutal. Can't post on battle stations because no tower. Can't get karma on average battle stations because too high. <laughs> Someone said, try PC Master Race. <laughs> Hmm. It's working well, off his phone. I mean, wow. I used to have one of those sand things he's got up there on the top shelf. It's like sand art, you flip it, and all the sand falls down to the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, but look, look, Doug. He's He's got a fish tank right next to his shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Well, no one knows where the fuck the tower is, so who the fuck... The fucking tower could be on the other side. The fucking tower could be underneath his ass because apparently he needs to fucking feel like he's in hell not being able to find the fucking tower. He's like, okay, I got to uh, restart. Oh, I got to go to the next room. Oh, shit. There was a uh, new uh, Frank, you got to tell Doug, though, about that one time because we were what? talking about him. We, I think, what did you, like, spill a drink on your keyboard? No, or something? no, no. I was pouring a drink in my uh, cup and it was, when it was coming up, the fizz like spilled over onto the mouse which was next to the coaster oh yeah it was a fizz yeah it made it just speckle on it but i, I wiped it off i cleaned that shit so i'll go ahead and give this dude a thumbs up i'll okay, give this guy one too now i mean this guy is basically the first guy was like hey i got a computer second guy's like hey i got my room and i stuck a computer in it now it's like you know he could be that guy if he just had his own place instead of somebody else's house oh boy oh boy what the fuck is this oh boy okay so he's got the razor headphones he's got uh looks like tvs for monitors because that bezel dough Stop using the TV as a monitor. Replace it with a proper monitor. Shut up, data monger. <laughs> I mean, it. Okay, okay, maximize this. Maximize. Ooh, man, ants. Okay. Hey, guys, look at the wad of paper I have sitting next to my shit. <laughs> okay. Let's see what the. Fu okay. The fucking hell, man. <sighs> You don't think the setup is swole, Doug? Them bezels are swole. Okay, I could get. Are they just soft? Bezels. I mean, I, I my my thirty two inch, which is what I'm using right now, as on my Mac, is my my desktop monitor. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> I, I I've never actually docked points for someone using a TV as their monitor. Oh, good. I got a TV. However. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I mean, number um, one, don't put your fucking headphones on the fucking keyboard, you fucking invalid. Fuck, 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 fuck. Number two, what is mm -hmm. going on with the middle TV? Um, more space, dog. More screens, pixels. 
Well, honestly, I'd rather have them on the keyboard, I guess, than like a lot of people do, right, Frank, that they put them on their monitor. Yeah, and then you're whatever. like the oils from your head get on the monitor and fuck it up. Yeah. But then you see like the main monitor, it's either really blown out or the one in the middle is washed out because it's supposed know, to be the right? same picture, but they're totally different like <sighs> temperatures there. It's not. Yeah, it's like one's like really orange and the other are like white and the other is blue. Yeah, I mean, like you're going from one side of the heat temperature to the other, you know. Right. I like the uh, how the mouse matches the keyboard, though. I do got to give him that. Yeah, he yeah. does. He does. Is he going with like an orange theme or something? Well, because the it's kind of red, and then the headphones are orange, and I don't know. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> mouse pad looks a little orangish. Ugh. And then, like, his RGB in the back, I don't know why he's pulling green out. That has nothing to do with anything else. Uh, that's what right. his mom got him for his birthday. Yeah. But it would look better if it was, like, going across all the monitors. But I, I like the, the, you know, like, the contrast of the green with the orange, I guess. Because eh. you like Christmas. Fuck Christmas. <laughs> well, I said green and orange. That's like Halloween. <laughs> Got that red kit in there too. Red, green, and orange is fucking Christmas. Get with the fucking program. We're going with the Bjorja. <laughs> so this one's obviously number one. No, it's not. Out of these three, this one's number one. No, no, it's not. This guy's number two. No, it's not. That's number this one. guy's number three. Yeah, damn right, it's number three. And I'm not giving an up vote because he has his shit laying out there. This guy is. Jizz rag on his desk there. It's kind of gross. So, what's your rating, Ian? Um, I I like this one the best, actually. The I would go <laughs> three, two, one. Wow, really? Yeah, I, I just like the more monitors and then the RGB and the headphones. Are I mean, nice. dude, if you want... I, it, more monitors doesn't always equal better monitors. I go to the uh, Goodwill right now and get six monitors. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. BGA, then. But and have a chin uh, like, yeah. But no, this well, guy. I, I like this. The second one is nice because yeah, it's like really clean, right? Right. Now, Doug, if this had been an iMac, you'd have had a boner for it. No. Boner, 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 boner. Nope. Negative. Oh, you like this one the best, Doug? Yes. You sometimes, like the closet PC? Be, between all three of these, sometimes simplicity is the best one. So simplicity wins out in the end. Well, the, has, the second one is really simple. I thought it was like really clean. It's minimal. Uh, it's, yeah. overdone. it's overdone. The moment you put a... It's over minimal. Disqualify this. The moment, the moment you put a fucking fish tank above your PC. And number two, the moment you put the PC God knows we're fucking where, you're done. You're finished. Thank you for playing our game. You have officially overthought the process. Well, Doug's yeah. like, I like the first one because it's minimal and this, I don't like that one because it's over minimal. So the th so Ian's favorite has nine upvotes. So okay. it's, tro it's Troxy doesn't have enough. Uh, <laughs> Minimalist has 143, so uh, Faller Blades is probably going to win because uh, Trap Builder 2 only has 25. Uh, yeah, we're all divided on this one, so it's but it looks like Frank's won them because man, that's what the it, internet said. It, the internet said, nah, man. Swole. This one's swole. <laughs> Soft. Swole's easy. Soft. Just. Uh... Oh, your shirt's missing an R there, Doug. Oh, yeah, that's, that reminds me. I, I meant to ask Doug, since he hasn't been on the show, what his thoughts were on... What was that one uh, wrestler whose wife was a wrestler and they actually got in a like a fight, like a physical fight or whatever, a while ago? Huh? <laughs> I forget the wrestler's name. What what wrestler do you know that where the wife is a female wrestler, like actively in the wrestling shit? There's a few, and they actually got in like a fight or some kind of domestic dispute. You know, 
there was one about six months ago that had Rich Swan and his girlfriend. Yeah, what what were your thoughts on that one? <laughs> Don't be fucking stupid. Don't be <laughs> fucking stupid. Okay, well, what? well, what what happened? I'm just like it's cleared up. Yeah, it's cleared up. Charges were dropped. They're still together. Oh. But I mean, what was the whole thing about though? Like, what's? I don't was know. he just drunk or something? Uh, I don't think he was drunk. Just they just got into some sort of an issue, and Did the media just blow it, overblow it. I don't think the media overblew it. Uh, I think there was actually something there. Yeah, okay. But uh, she declined to press charges, and that was that. What mm. the fuck is that? Hold yeah, on. what's your theme, Frank? My theme is these are the fucking battle stations you get. So, <laughs> are you going with the like an '80s triangle theme? Well, this guy, I mean, he found he found a wallpaper with some neon on it, and then he kind of matched the colors to his RGB. RGB. Apparently, he's in the Matrix. They're in the computer. <laughs> you gotta get these files out of the computer. So this was just the first one. I was like, "Man, I like that one. That's I, you know." Yeah. So that's why I included it. Now the other ones. Are oh, that one's colorful too. Kinda. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of colorful. Oh, good. I got a a gallery to show you here. Huh? The what in the fuck is with the fucking anime? Yay! What's wrong with like an anime? Huh? Fucking senpai station over here. <laughs> fucking weeb. Anyway, oh, you don't get you don't get into the soap opera stuff, Doug. Look, look at this soap one. opera anime. Ian, look at the, look at the actual rig. Look oh, that that's shit. pretty. Look at that shit. That's pretty crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. Cray. It's like it's like something out of Willy Wonka, you know. I mean, Nionix mouse, uh, Zowie mouse. It looks like this is what their setup looked like before. It was messy as fuck. And then they cleaned the shit. Then they cleaned up. As you can see, they organized their ramen noodles. <laughs> <laughs> they got Sennheiser headphones, so I can't hate. It looks like they got a kind of a laptop. Is that? I can't even tell. It's exactly. a computer that you put on your lap. Hold on, the uh, uh, maximize that real quick. Whoop. It was maximized. Yeah, I want an imager. This is as good as it's going to get. <laughs> Let's see. That is probably... Oh, that's a... Uh, uh, that's one of those Budios knockoffs uh, type of fucking things. That's um, a... That, that's not, oh, what the fuck is that? Because Linus just did a video on that maybe a month or two ago. Um, that's actually a pretty powerful little uh, Windows PC for the price. That thing only runs like 300 400 bucks and it's it's actually pretty pretty nice for, for the price i mean cool. really everything they got here is kind of dope they got my my uh, webcam they got nice white monitors i can't i can't front on those monitors oh, no, that's but besides the actual senpai theme here i mean for one i like the col i like the colors and i mean Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck is on the right hand side? Uh, a mess. <laughs> okay, then. I mean, the, that's where he moved all of his ramen shit. Right. Oh. They're, they're like, you know, I guess this was in the middle of cleaning, and then, you know, you got afterwards. I don't. Yeah, we, we've learned on the show there's a reason why people only take like one angle of shit. Right. I mean, yes. they. I mean, at least this person's like, no, it's not clean all the time, but you fucking clean it up, and this is what you can have. Look, four mice and a bungee. 
I mean... Yeah, like, I, I have to have my shit clean around, like, my monitor and stuff. Like, I, I was never one of those people that could have, like, all those stickies all, all over the, you know, like, the bezels of the monitor. Actually, now that I look at this, I you, you, it might be a Windows, uh, you know, device normally, but it's running Arch Linux there. Mm. Well, you can get those running Linux. I, I'm saying, though, shit. Yeah. Hey, Should have gotten a Linux manufacturer running Linux standards. That's not surprising. This is this. I just I, I think it's uh it gives me a little more respect for him. Well, besides so it's like that, that, that kind of Linux sucks. Yeah, oh yeah, here's their keyboard. Got their waifu on it. There's a reason why that keyboard's white. <laughs> oh, Doug. Are those like key stickers or something on there? <laughs> no, it's custom from uh, Wise to Keyboards. Uh, they could make a, an image and then it, they're printed on the keycaps. Funny you should say the word sticker. Oh, and it's Astolfo, so that's a dude, actually. <laughs> He's, Told a you. He's a trap. It's a trap. You know, no hate, whatever. Um, Doug's trying to get his traps full. So this is the third one here. I want. I gotta open this album up here again. <sighs> so, <sighs> I I like the colors. You got the trident Z. What am I looking at? <laughs> this is this is the the loop. Here's a. Here's one that would be flagged for need clearer pictures. Yeah, too dark. Well, hold on, let me see. Do they have one with the fucking lights on? Eh, oh, here's the loop. Here it is with the when they just bent the tubes for the loop. Can you can you see what I'm showing you? Yes. Okay. So, liquid cool does. CPU and GPU <coughs> pump right there in front of the radiator. Triple fans. Pump. Ow. Go to pump you up. Um, Can't quite tell what case it is from this picture. Let me go over here. Oh, yeah, it's a Lee and Lee, I believe. It's got a... I think this panel here is aluminum, and there's a glass... I think a glass piece in front of here. Let me go back to the... Did you, did you guys see the uh, Linus's review of like the ten thousand dollar computer case or whatever? Um, no. I believe yeah, it, was just that. it was like a really expensive computer case. Just the case. T ten thousand dollars. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. So here's another picture of that setup with the more lights on. In. Oh, there we go. Now I can like, see what the fuck is going on. I think those are like Logitech speakers, and he's got one of those. Keypads for uh, like the left side, I guess. Macros. Yeah, I've decided like until I get some fucking you know like monitors and shit, I'm just not even gonna bother with speakers. Just use the monitor, you know. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, that's what you were doing, right? I'm doing it, yeah. When I don't have my headphones in. Yeah, well, that's why you really just use the headphones. Right. I mean, if I don't feel like wearing them, the TV works fine. It's a fucking TV. I'm a foot away from it. Yeah. I like I like these lights. Uh, I can't remember if these are thermal take. Let me look at it. Uh, 1080 FE. Lights from computerlight.com. <laughs> Intake fans. Look like they're thermal take. Lots of tubing, lots of lights. Tube. I mean, I like the I like the vapor wavy look. You know, the pink and the blue and the purples. Looks cool, man. Uh, what kind of headphones are these again? Are they Steel Series? I think they're Steel Series. You can't hardly see them, but but yeah, I I, I was liking this one the most when I you know selected it. That's why I did it last. But I don't know. I, 
I have to ask Doug. What Doug? If if you were to like, if you had like a any kind of you know like a budget to do any kind of computer that you wanted, like a you know like a PC type of thing, uh, what what kind of style would you go for? Would you have like a window on it and show off all that stuff, but RGB in there? I'm not really an RGB fan. Uh, I'm, I'm not that that kind of guy. Um, would you I, have a window though showing it, everything off, or would you just yeah, have it? Yeah, yeah, I'd have a window. Uh, I actually have my eye on, like, I'm actually a really big fan of like the Omen PCs that uh, HP had. Oh, okay. Uh, that and uh, Alienware had this super fucking dope ass case. Dope ass. Really awesome. But um, I couldn't afford it. Uh, yeah, because you do you do want to have some kind of like gaming PC or server or something, right? Yeah, well, like I have already got all my all my actual case parts uh it's it's gonna be just a standard black case server but yeah can't really complain too much you know especially when it's free all right f-r-e-e that's bills free yeah. so i'm gonna say uh, that my first one is probably my third favorite the last one i did with all the custom bins is probably my second favorite I think I think the Weeb Station might be my favorite. Oh, oh man, I got to go. Th- three one two is from my favorite to the least favorite. So you like the loop, and then you like this one, and yeah. then yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, fucking Weeb. That's okay. Nope. You ready for this? You all ready for this? Two three one. Oh really? Just in the fact that I mean, even though it's it's fucking hentai station, <laughs> hentai senpai. There you go. That's the new name of it, hentai senpai. <laughs> uh, it's actually a really clean station. That you know, the only thing that he almost gets hundred percent docked for is the fact that that fucking Mountain Dew there on the fucking left hand side. <laughs> That's a full throttle, dog. Oh, yeah, I forgot Ronald about those. You mountain D's nuts, okay? Yeah, you, get, you get done looking at the hentai porn, you can go eat ramen noodles. He's, this this one's got it all sorted out, man. Yeah. Except this for one, a, a little cup. This one, you trip over the, you know, like, man, look at these lights, and you get up and you trip because it's dark. <laughs> and then this one, I can't hate on this guy because he's got those plastic speakers but he doesn't have a picture of the sub on the desk. Everybody else puts the fucking sub on the desk. Like and I'm like, it goes on the floor. So he doesn't have that. So I can't hate on him. Yeah. So now the internets gave him 113 upvotes. Uh, hentai do got uh, 29. All right. And uh, your custom loop got 86. Uh, so uh, nobody won. Oh. Da- Dan Barr won because he had the well, most upvotes. I, I'm even though if it was my least of favorite one, I, I'm pretty surprised on the you know the anti shit. Yeah, I mean, they I, I would think that they would everybody. I figured that they would win, you know. Well, the you know the uh, the battle stations like they say Loki hates uh, weeb shit, which is true, but. Whatever, fuck them. It's I think it's dope. Well, for me, like it, it gets points for being extremely organized, nice and nice and well done. You know, he doesn't try to super clog everything with these huge ass fucking uh, speakers or going with like you know the the biggest asshole monitor ever. He knows exactly what he wants. Hey, what's wrong with the big monitor. asshole monitor? I'm the uh, asshole with the big monitor. Yeah, but it's not like you're like toting it out there, like, dude, I just got this fucking forty-two inch money. There's a lot of guys who will just plop a fucking seventy-five inch ultra wide. Uh, yeah, man, just uh, got this off of uh, uh, off of Taiwan.net. They had sent it straight to my house for one hundred thirty-five dollars shipping. She, she, you, you see what I mean? Right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, anyway, he does, he, it's obvious he doesn't use a secondary uh, screen all the time, so he doesn't have it going. 
Now, it's an extremely clean setup for what it is. Right. I'm Jelly. It's a Friends, hentai Jelly. Hentai Senpai Station. That's right. Fap, fap, fap. Okay, now it's time okay, for the news. Don't have music. That's your theme. Quiet. No, mine is. Oh yeah. Fine. So this is this is yours. Is I don't remember the. I couldn't do the tone. What in the fuck? Dun 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 dun. Wait, that's a ESPN. I don't fucking know. Hey, you're the musician. Right. Dun, dun, dun. You heard first. Wait, that's MTV. <laughs> I forget. Do you play any instruments, Doug? Just a radio. Uh, I'm learning how to play guitar badly. <laughs> uh, really? Didn't you? Weren't you in band? I forget. Yes. What I did you play in band? Oh. Uh, uh, so, okay. First story for the evening. Check out this semi-closed loop liquid nitrogen cooler. Yeah, did either of you see the video on that? I heard, I kept hearing about it, and I'm Jay? like, no. I heard about it. So for those that those of you that don't know, a lot of people use like the, the liquid nitrogen tanks to, you know, cool extreme. their uh, processor for yeah, doing over extreme overclocking, world records, you know. Right. I mean, it's very unstable. It isn't practical at all and highly dangerous. Right. But basically, they, uh, they, the cool thing about this is, uh, you know, they, you. yeah, <laughs> uh, they do, uh, they, you know, you have to keep refilling and do a lot of stuff manually. Whereas this, they had like custom software and stuff to pretty much, uh, you know, like monitor everything and making sure it doesn't get too cold or, too high, you know, so that it's right. all self-maintained, you know. What I had seen guys do, like, stupid cooling, like, I think when Linus had the air conditioner hooked up to use as a radiator, basically you have to insulate the living bejesus out of everything. Like, those aren't actual hoses you're seeing. That's, it, you know, probably, like, insulation over top of the hoses just to keep the moisture out. Yeah, I was going to say, that's for... You know, like sweat protection and everything. Yeah, the condensation, what you get is that frost. Just like when you open up your freezer and it, you know, get that little bit of frost on it. Yeah, imagine that all over every fucking thing. So as Yeah, cool that's as like Doug's is, nightmare right there, just right. dripping over everything. As cool as it is to have a cool running CPU and GPU, when you get it so cold that everything literally freezes, it can infect your speeds. Yeah. So who did this? Because uh, I didn't watch the video. Uh, well, Jay was doing a video on it, uh, but he was... I, I guess it was other people he was, you know, talking about with it, you know? Other yeah, people he did, doing a, world records. He did an extreme uh, uh, overclocking before, but, you know... he Well, he was just participating in it. It was right. the other, other people that... Because he doesn't even know how to do all that shit. Right. He's like, and what are you doing? Okay, uh, uh, here you <laughs> go. This is EVGA, I guess I could tell by the power supply on the board and everything is engineers. So, I mean, it's cool that they're just doing it to see if they can do it. Because I mean, I, I would, I wouldn't do it, but you know, they're crazy, so that's why. It, it's cool. And <laughs> fucking <laughs> 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 stupid. Yeah, you know, it's just like race car driving. You know, yeah, you could drive. Uh, you know, 30 miles an hour, or you could, you know, go 200. Because why not, yeah. man? Especially yeah. if it's not your shit. Who cares? Right. Yeah, Doug, you'd never get into that crazy cooling stuff like liquid cooling or anything. No, I... Uh, <laughs> I just... I, I find it boring. Boring. Yeah. Well, the this... whole concept is, is getting free shit, you know, getting free horsepower, right? You spend all this money to get free. <laughs> Don't leave anything on the table, dog. So, the second article you got here. Niantic settles class action lawsuit following last year's disastrous Pokemon Go Fest in Chicago. I forgot all about that fucking thing. Yeah, so basically they 
they refunded everybody's ticket and uh, other, you know, like other stuff that they had to, you know, pay for, I guess. But uh, there was somebody that was suing them because they were like, uh, well, we, I want you should be paying for my travel costs or whatever, which I, I kind of personally thought that it was a little bit that's a little bit excessive because it's like they can't pay everybody because it's like they have to. Yeah, some people are closer than others. You know, you can't just pay everybody. Right. Pay I out mean, money to everybody. It's just like you were going to go get there. You know, you were going to go whether it sucked or not. Right. How, good, how good did they have to make it to make it worth your time to go out there? You left the house with the intention to go to this fucking thing. You right. Know? Even even if you're anywhere in North America, if you're going to Chicago, you know what that entails. Unless you're coming from New Zealand to play Pokemon Go. That's your own fucking fault. Right. Well, it's that, like one one and a half or it was one point something million and they're going to pay it. And I'm like, yeah, so you're just going to give away money. Right. I mean, the thing that's funny is like there's only one guy in the, all these pictures that isn't uh, obese and even he's still got his phone out <laughs> playing. So, I mean... Well, you know what's ironic about that is that wasn't the whole purpose of that app. They were like thinking it was going to get people exercise. Yeah, get the guys out and moving around, and it's like yeah, yeah, they did, but it's people who weren't used to moving around. So, <laughs> but uh, to qualify, I never someone, got into you just shit. Have to have checked into the festival and the game, and anyone who has expenses that total more than one hundred and seven dollars will need to provide receipts. So if you hung on to receipts from last year, you really want that fucking money back, I guess. Yeah. Any well, some of those class action suits that you just have to say, you don't even have to prove it, that you just get money. Huh. I want money. I want, I want my motherfucking money. I'm going to say what you fucking do with my motherfucking money. Isn't that how some of the, like, the Sony lawsuits were? You remember, didn't they have some class action lawsuits with the PlayStation or whatever? Uh, yeah, uh, everybody lost. Did you play Pokemon Go, Doug? For about three months. Mm. Did you have any good Pokemon in your backyard? I found it rather, like, it started out good. It really good. did. However, mm -hmm. time passed. They changed a lot of things and made it less uh, player friendly. Yep. And now I'm like, you know uh -huh. what? Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Doug wants a Charizard now. Gotcha. It, it was more the fact that it became less fun and they started uh, fucking with shit. And I'm like, you know what? Like, You basically turned into a fun game into now something where it's now pissing me off 90% of the time. So... Well, I, I just know it was making people a lot dumber. Because they would just like walk off a cliff, you know? Yeah. It was just fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? It's what it is. Um, and one thing I, I will say that the app, that the game did do is it actually got people out of the fucking house. Yeah, that um, was a purpose. Um, Get you out into the real world. I, I, I met people who were nice and kind, and it was very freaking tastic, you know? It was more to be more sociable. Yeah. So it was fun, you know? Hmm. It does remind me, though, like, of, like I was saying, people walking off cliffs or going into private property and stuff. It's like, it's yeah. kind of similar to that Apple thing. Did, what were your thoughts on that Apple stuff where the. They had to go to the hospital because people at that Apple thing were like walking into glass doors and windows and stuff like birds. Some people are stupid. <laughs> well, those are the people working for Apple then. Well, not just people working there. People just going there would run into shit. Now, you linked yeah. to a Tech Deck article. I had a, a similar article. I'm going to pull up. What about the Pokemon thing? No. No, your next oh, article. Oh, that's right. That was a different one. Your your next article was tech dirt, which we might as well just say a bunch of words. Um, well, there was a specific paragraph that I was you could read there. 
Which one? Uh, the one where it says, uh, I think that one that's on the screen where it's like in quotation things. Initially, right. when we saw this, uh, we thought it was primarily made for offensive uh, capabilities like routing attacks around the internet. Craig Williams, a senior technology leader and global outreach manager at Talos, told ours, but it appears attackers have completely evolved past that and now not only does it allow them to do that, but they can manipulate everything going through the compromised device. They can modify your bank account balance to, so it looks normal, while at the same time they're uh, siphoning off money and potentially PGP keys and things like that. They can manipulate everything going in and out of the device. This article is about the uh, Russian malware uh, for routers where the government said, hey, reboot your router, and we go, ha, 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 that's funny, ha, ha, ha. Well, actually, it's worse than we thought. Yeah, and that's they pretty much just described how bad it is. With they're saying they could do anything that they want with any kind of traffic going in and out of the device. Yeah, and like I said, the one of the problems was it hits routers and NAS devices because they're just connected to the internet. Yeah. So the my article uh, it says infected 500,000 devices is worse than lead on. So I'm like, that's great. So, oh, and it has a list of uh, affected devices. There we go. Is your router affected? Let me look here. Da, uh, da, da. Uh, I have see a done. Spectrum router. You know, the, I ran it. What, what, who, what, what manufacturer? Uh, they, they do the UB ones, I guess. UB Cootie? <laughs> I don't know. UB Soft. UB, UB 40? Red, red wine. Oh, wait. Red wine. Oh. Be the wine. Be that girl. Right in the house, does? <laughs> no. It's red, red wine. The problem is, the average it's user is not going to understand what the hell is going on here. And it's made to affect. Things that are just plugged in and left by the, you know, to sit around. And eventually, eventually they're going to get to our damn uh, echoes and dots and all that shit and, and compromise echo, everything. Echo, echo. Compromise everything. But by then it'll be too late. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. When when they see what on, what's on Frank's computer, they'll just leave. Oh, my God. So, you have this article. I actually, I, ha I have some more that are relevant to th this uh, story here. Fucking Intel. Because, see, this t this headline is just like a regular headline, right? It, Intel yeah. isn't going to be launching a 28-core, 5 gigahertz processor this year after all. You know why they say that? Because when they first teased the whole fucking thing, Intel will launch 28-core, 5 gigahertz CPU by the end of the year. You know, actually, that's so. This fucking title is fitting. You know, they're not. No. No. no because they, not. they, uh, they lied. It is. It's really overclocked. So at Computex this year, Intel released. Well, they teased. They had a machine with twenty-eight cores running at five gigahertz, and people were like, "Oh shit! I can't wait to buy this." Yeah. Um. Well, like you said, first it was overclocked. And uh, second, it people should have been disappointed as soon as they saw that thing because it's not like it was running off, you know, a cooler you could buy at the store. Yeah, it was. It's just a proof of concept type of thing that, that you had to have extravagant type of cool or exotic type of cooling with it. I mean, you know? they're just saying, "Hey, we if you have all this shit, you can't could possibly do that." I mean, if. Yeah. All the planets align. If you have a fucking actual industrial air, you know, wa uh, air conditioner, I mean, it, it, it's possible. No one else is going to fucking do it. And they had to overclock it and run this massive cooler on it for themselves to do it. The people that made the fucking thing. Right. They they ha they have it going in their lab, you know? I mean... 
but the thing is, everyone got like all excited. They're like, "Oh, I can't wait!" And no, I mean, I I linked. I'm not going to link it here because it's just a video. Uh, Paul's Hardware. He when he went to the event, he went. He stopped at the booth that where it was running, and showed the first actual footage of it at the time. Um, but. But they they confirmed they're like oh yeah it was overclocked and yeah so, some details because they would like yeah HC series chiller chiller so it's not like just anybody can do this you know they waited till what two days after to announce oh it was actually like a proof of concept yeah so it is is a proof of concept. You know, they, it was like, oh, eventually we're going to, and they're like, no, nah, actually, we, you can't fucking do any of that. We just, we got the, it, it, it's one of these things that no one's ever actually going to have. But what kind looks, of a, what kind of mother, crazy motherboard would you have to have too? Because like, I'm sure you'd have to buy a whole new one. Well, here. Whoop, damn it. Of course the shit doesn't stay blown up. Listen. Uh, huh. Is that like a whole new platform? I don't know what socket it was. But see, yeah. here's the, the... Yeah, so it was a cool idea until they're like, oh, yeah, see? Yeah, no. Was it overclocked? Hell yeah, it was overclocked. Oh, no, no. But... Yeah. But see, then they got their thunder stolen. Let me see. Do, before, do you have uh, any articles about it? Before I, no, I don't think I do. Really? Okay, because the twenty-eight core is possibly no. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're in Threadripper by uh, AMD. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-two cores, motherfucker. When when Threadripper first launched, they had the four dies on the silicon, and basically two of them were active and two weren't hot. And now, right, that's what the guy found out when he was deleting it or whatever. Yeah, the I I actually I have another I have a video interview with um, what's his name, uh, Jim Anderson from AMD. He's like, oh yeah, all four of them are hot, uh, and it still uses the TR4 socket. So if you're running uh, threader for right now, which at the t at the time it was maxed out to 16 core. If you have a motherboard array that supports it, you update your BIOS and you can put in the new Threadripper chip and be okay. Mm. And the, yeah. you know when the when the whole Intel thing happened, everyone was like, "Yeah, but it's not running at five gigahertz." Neither was that 28 fucking thing. 28. Well, what was right? What what was the like the, you know the thread ripper that you could get now though like is it are they just disabled or something or like can Jim, you unlock that shit? No, that no, they have uh, supposedly just two dummy uh, uh, cores. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, dies, dies. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> it's not like they just turn them on, and they're like in theory. Eventually, we want to go this way, but they weren't sure. It's got the updated frequencies, just like you know Zen two and all that different architecture. So, well, so is this going to technically be the twenty nine fifty X then? The next yes. generation. Yeah. Well, they haven't announced the naming scheme because they haven't announced what's <laughs> staying around. Because people, they said originally when it, it went from eight to sixteen core. And people mostly bought the 16 core, which why not? If you're already going with the enthusiast grade, why not get the higher end? Um, so they haven't announced which ones they're still going to do side by side. Uh, some are still going to be coming out though, because you know they'll take your money. They don't care. <laughs> they want your money. That's right. Uh, Jim basically said, "Is like you know." We want to make a Ryzen CPU to fit your needs. If you want eight cores, you know, okay. If you want 32, sure. And it, it's supposed to be coming in. Cores. I want your quarter cores. three. Yeah. Quarter, quarter three, which is slated for like August ish. 
Um, but no pricing has been leaked yet. I, I'm just. This is this is a good. They that basically, you know, they try to one up AMD by saying, "Well, we got 28 cores," and AMD's like, "That's cute. We got 32." So, you know, they're they're taking away their business. You know, uh, they're in the they're in the laptop game, like Linus was saying. Uh, and now people are buying them for their workstations. That's yeah. Oh, man. I, I can only imagine, like, so that would technically be 64 threads then, right? That's what it says, 32 core, 64 threads. Yeah, I wonder what your task manager would look like then with all the things expanded out. It'd be crazy. <laughs> uh, Linus ran, um, he did Cinebench, but it was a it was a custom AMD, AMD graphic, so you couldn't tell what it was actually doing, but they showed all cores were running. Yeah. So, Any thoughts, Doug? Not really. I mean, we were expecting stuff like this. I mean, the, the, this entire core war is going to be going for at least a good couple of years. Uh -huh. uh, Intel was fucking stupid for, uh, I call it willfully not disclosing information at Computex. Mm-hmm. Intel's already got a faster one. Fucking next. Intel's like, fuck this shit, man. Fuck this shit. Well, they thought they were going to, you know, oh, they only got 16. We got 28. And they're like, actually, we got 32 now. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, it, wasn't there, uh, there one that was supposed to beat the Threadripper? They had like an 18 core one. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was like a weird platform. One of them was like uh, ten thousand dollars too. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Facebook lets select companies have special access to user data per report. <gasps> Edit every day, more and more. I I keep thinking I'm just gonna fucking delete Facebook. Has you gonna join the hashtag movement? Hashtag delete Facebook. No, uh, hashtag uh, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna delete it and then go about my day because. <laughs> Anymore, I keep finding my. I find out the longtime friends that I haven't spoken to in years are uh, bigots. Oh, you get on and they're like, "Yeah, that fucking Obama wasn't born here." And oh shit, you mean like Roseanne? Yeah, it's like I grew oh. up going, "Man, that was awesome." And then, oh no, you know what? What are your thoughts on that shit, Doug? Did you like the Roseanne show? I've known for a long time she's fucking psycho. So I like, yeah. you know I didn't fuck around with it. Well I told what? uh I told Ian on the last week's show uh <clears throat> I listened to a left wing uh comedy station that uh did political humor but they were, you know, a comedy based show and they had her on when she was promoting her tour. And they ha the host happened to go off script and say, "Yeah, oh, you know, what do you th think of Obama?" And he wasn't born here. And they're like, uh, "No, ma'am, yes, he was. No, he wasn't." Oh boy, <laughs> you, you know your audience that the you're talking to, right? After that, I never heard an actual commercial with the way they actually interviewed her. It was always the DJ talking to a recording, pretending like she was there. Yep. So that's uh, why. So well, I. I had another thought though, like it 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 does kind of suck though, d just because of her views. Like the other people that were, you know, like on the cast and writers and stuff, they had to suffer because of it. I mean, they were really excited about it. But I mean, what what the heck is A and ABC supposed to do though? They can't just continue being don't affiliated with that, I guess, right? Hey, don't do that. Yeah. Again. Uh, excuse me. Um. Yeah, I just, mean, you hate to see people, other people suffer because of the shit, you know. Can't remember who it was. They said, "Imagine if John Goodman was out of town, and then he gets on his laptop and goes, what the fuck?'" Yeah, we're canceled. Shit. Yeah. But yeah, they they canceled it like right that day, and she was like trying to write her apology, wasn't she? Yeah, but she was retweeting people that supported her, so. Yeah, Facebook basically says, hey, you have user data. Let's give it to everybody. And then the EU says, you're doing what? 
Um, well, we're really not gonna. We want you to give us money now. Oh, well, gee, I don't think we should talk about that. So, <sighs> yeah, fucking Facebook. Fuck weeds. Any thoughts there, Doug? Not really. She's an idiot. Guess what she gets. All right. So we're, we're talking about Facebook right now, Doug. Oh, as far as Facebook goes and their uh, continuing information problems, I think this is just going to be a blip on the radar long term. Yeah. Um, it's just, yeah. So, Aid Simulator kicked off Steam as Valve grapples with trolling definition. Yeah. I, I. Did you have another article about this? Because I, I really didn't get a chance to really read in depth. Well, I have several articles. I followed this from basically since the <coughs> last show. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, see, hold on. See, basically, right after last week's show, I got a couple of news articles came up in my feed about, I don't know if we discussed it on the show or not, but Steam has uh, getting rid of games that have sexual content and a lot right. of, a lot of graphic novel or visual novel games or whatever they're called would have uh, anime girls with big boobs. And basically the gameplay would be, you would play candy crush with a picture of a chick in a bikini and the more answers you got right or whatever the hell it was, the more naked and naked they got. And sometimes the developers would have a special code where you could enter it and your game that you bought that was family friendly on steam now has X rated content. And they have been doing that for years. And basically they, uh, were cracking down on it for a while. They were get banning and getting rid of some games. And then, this one article I got from The Verge, their pornography rules may hurt small game creators the most. Because that's people who did this shit, you know, one man studios that were making visual novels and shit like that. They were shitty games, but they, you know, they were pretty or they had a pretty chick in them. <clears throat> so I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to have to, you know, follow that and see what happens. And then. My phone gives me a message. I pull into my garage after work, and I get this latest news article. Valve says it would no longer police what's on Steam unless it's illegal or trolling. So, basically, they're like, you know what? Fuck it. We're done. You can put whatever you want on there. We don't give a shit. <laughs> We don't give a shit. You pay us, we put it on the fucking thing, and we say, cool. <laughs> so. And, I didn't know you could tro troll by making a video game. Well, see, your original article, Aid Simulator. Yeah. You're, you know, I mean, like, there was a Steam sale generator that, like, emulator, basically, that was a simulates when there's a steam sale it's a picture of lord gaben and uh everything you Very click right. on it and money falls from the sky because it's all sales yeah so i mean you're i you gotta put it in there because if you don't then the people that are trolling go what you said we could make any fucking thing <laughs> and since then, it's been a bunch of articles where they literally put almost copy paste the same title, and then they're like, "What? It, what's like reaction?" You know, articles where people are like, "Well, see, here's the thing. Well, we've decided that the right approach is to allow everything into the Steam Store." Valve says, "Um, because oh, really, re really, go ahead. Oh, he's back on. Basically." When you're um, when you're signed into the Steam store, you can set up your store to be customized for you. So I was like, "Fuck it, you can make it look however you want. Who cares?" And I mean, some of them are interesting titles. I I. I 
Steam updates game content guidelines will include something that you hate. <laughs> Steam, the long-running PC game marketplace operated by Valve Software, has con consistently run into issues with approved and restricted content and arguments about, and arguments about those guidelines uh, have heated up in recent weeks after Valve removed various Euro, you know, games, dirty, and then approved the sexualized violence against women simulator Agony. Users began asking what was up with Steam's content guidelines. So... Um, Valve's Eric Johnson did a blog post. Who gets uh, to be on the Steam store and frankly admit that his own staff has struggled with the same question until reaching a new conclusion? We decided that the right approach is to allow everything under the Steam store except for things that we decided are illegal or straight up trolling, Johnson wrote. Taking this approach allows us to focus less on trying to police what should be on Steam and more on building those tools to give people control over what kinds of content they see. So, I mean, if you've got kids and you don't want them seeing dirty games, uh, be a good parent and set up parental controls. Right. Yeah. But then... Well, go ahead. I forget. How does uh, does Steam just make money through their subscriptions, or do they have to do make, you know, make their advertisers happy and stuff, too? Like YouTube. What? <laughs> How does... Who does Steam make money from? Just the its users, or do they have ad? I really don't use Steam that much, so like I don't know if they have advertisements. I mean, they'll have ads for games and stuff, but like really not. It's more just along the lines of you buy it, and then you know they're the middleman. So they don't really have to worry about anybody like losing money from like advertisers, or all they have to do is just make their customers happy, right? Yeah, I mean, people are going to buy the games. They're like, fuck it, might as well buy them for us. Yeah. But people are doing a commentary, basically. A Steam's new Anything Goes policy is doomed from the start. Valve is responsible for the games that published on Steam, even if it says it isn't. Which is kind of, you know, no, no, no. But, excuse me. But, you know, you got that headline and then, like, this other clickbaity one. Steam's irresponsible hands-off policy is proof that Valve still hasn't learned its lesson. What, what fucking lesson? How to make money? They know how to make money. <laughs> right. They know how to make your money. I mean, for a minute, they, they did have groups like Right Wing Death Squad Union. Mm. And uh, Aid Simulator has been removed from Steam, presumably because it violates Valve's still nebulous rules about straight up trolling. Straight up. Screenshot here. Uh, Welcome to Africa. You've got HIV. Now you're mad and want to kill Africans that give you AIDS to get revenge. Aid Simulator is a very short first person shooter and with boring gameplay, bad graphics, and generic assets. At least they're honest. Huh. So, you know, yeah. you know who I bet you loves this game, Roseanne. <sighs> Too tsunami. <laughs> so yeah, they. I mean, they're basically tired of everyone getting their panties in a bunch. And they're like, we just want to make money. So, fuck it. If you let your kids see the bad game, you're a bad parent. Next. All right. any, th any thoughts, Doug? You know, why, should, why should their parents have to monitor what their kids watch? Because they're five, dude. They shouldn't be able to pull up Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> hey, they're, they're busy. They can't, they can't be watching them. Why not? <laughs> Oh boy! Uh -oh. They gotta go to the gym and get swole. A Jeep Pies FCC led lied about DDoS attack. X chair statement indicates. I have several articles on this, but why is he always looking goofy in the picture? I think he's just a goofy-looking motherfucker. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. pretty much it. 
Kind of reminds me of Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Balsa, balsa, Baba Booey. Baba So, Mama Monkey. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, John Oliver did a bit about it too, right? Oh, there was a similar DDoS attack over the uh, after the 2014 John Oliver clip. Rachel reporters. Ah. So basically, what's the what's the meat and potatoes here? Oh, I don't know. I figure you had this article too. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's pretty much what the article says. They they lied about that well, shit. <clears throat> Wheeler was the former head of the FCC, Tom Wheeler, and. He said there was no cover-up of the 2014 DDoS attack because there was no DDoS. <gasps> Ooh. So, I mean, shots fired, shots fired. Yeah. Yeah, I had several other articles on it. Where's... Hold on. <laughs> Hold, please. do 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 <laughs> please dance. Please stand by. Your call is very important to us. Please stand in the line. It will be answered in the order as received. That music, it always sounds shitty, too. Welcome to She Walk. She Walk. Like the, the music is always breaking up. Tom Wheeler's advisor said he didn't cover up the 2014 attack because it never happened. A recent Gizmodo report has resurfaced doubts that FCC's explanation regarding the cause of its website outage in 2017. If you'll recall, the event prevented people from posting comments on Chairman Ajit Pai's plan to eliminate net neutrality rules. Pai and a couple of other FCC officials blamed on the DDoS attack and referenced another outage that happened in 2014, which an anonymous... High-level official blamed on the same thing. Back then, the agency then, under Tom Wheeler, called for comments on amended net neutrality guidelines that would allow ISPs to sell access to fast lanes. By referencing the older incident, the officials are probably saying that the outage wasn't caused by the massive su support for net neutrality. The website has long been the target of DDoS attacks. Problem is, former FCC chairman Tom Wheeler said the 2014 attack never happened. <gasps> After the outage in 2017, former SEC IT chief David Bray said uh, there was a similar DDoS attack after the 2014 uh, uh, J.O. clip. Front. He was talking about John Oliver's call to arms. The HBO host asked viewers to leave their thoughts on the agency's website after airing a net neutrality explainer. Oliver repeated his plea in 2017 in HBO's Last Week Tonight and again uh, Bray blamed it on the DDoS attack instead of the people's response to the host call. So, yeah, people do uh, you know make some noise when they're not calling so, American Idol in. <laughs> so, I guess you could say everybody FCC through that. <laughs> Any thoughts there, Doug? I mean, were you expecting anything less? <laughs> let's, nope. let's be honest here. Well, we come to expect it, so that makes it okay. Uh, Excuse me. It's just, uh, it's like how a lot of people are like, oh, everybody's, everything's funny, so what are you going to do? Meh, 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 meh. Fucking FCC. Well, it's like, I just, I was thinking, like, today, it's like, it, it seems like everything in the government is like, it's less about trying to protect people than it's just political, you know? Right. It's like, they try, they go after, they find people all these millions of dollars like they did with, like, Howard Stern and stuff for just having the F word when, you know, like, a lot of other shit gets through that's way worse than just the word, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. FCC it's emails show agency spread lies to bolster dubious DDoS attack claims. And look, this one, this uh, story's even got larger type. Oh, man. 
Yeah, so basically, I mean, they're getting found out. Hmm. Imagine that, a, go a, a government office where they keep records on shit. People remember shit that was said and done. No. <laughs> Well, it's it, it's like every you know everybody, no matter how much you try to compartmentalize things, it's like everybody, it shit comes together, you know, because people talk about their job and everything, you know. FCC shrugs at fake cell towers around the White House. This is one of my stories, but it's FCC related, so I figured <laughs> you do the sound effect, Frank. Um, no. The typewriting. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Ajit Pai was serious last year when he told lawmakers that the FCC didn't want anything to do with cybersecurity. This past April, the Associated Press reported for the first time the U.S. government has publicly acknowledged the existence in Washington of what appeared to be rogue devices that foreign spies and criminals could be using to track individual cell phones and intercept calls and messages. But when lawmakers formally asked the Jeep Pie and the FCC to investigate the DHS confirmation of unauthorized cell towers in use, Pie gave them the brush off, leading to a big what the fuck on the Energy and Commerce uh, Democrats' official Twitter account. Today's insane news, the quote here, uh, mm -hmm. brought to you by a, a Jeep Pie FCC who just declined to investigate reports of foreign surveillance, citing lack of evidence the same day. DHS Gov uh, confirmed surveillance devices uh, were detected near the White House. <sighs> Shit. When reached for comment, Brian Hart, Director, Office of Media Relations, Federal Communications Commission, uh, disputed the tweet's choice of language and add twist that the FCC won't talk about this in public. Harold Hart told Engadget via email, one of the FCC's core missions is to ensure the, ensure the reliability and resiliency of the nation's communications network and to promote public safety through communications. We continue to coordinate closely with our counterparts at DHS, DOJ, and the FBI on this issue, and we have not said that we have uh, declined to investigate. Rather, we have said that if we have uh, particularized uh, evidence that certain devices are being unlawfully used within the United States, we will investigate the matter alongside our federal partners and take all appropriate enforcement actions, but we cannot disclose publicly what evidence we may or may not have on this subject. Unlike Hart's statement to Engadget, Pai's letter asserted the Department of Homeland Security has taken the lead in assessing the potential threat from certain uses of cell tower simulators. <sighs> Fuck this guy. Damn right. Oh, so this will make you feel better. A puppy dog. Aww. What's up, uh -huh. puppy? Aww. Yeah. Aww. I am a Zoe. Hi, Zoe. You're adorable. <laughs> Is your uh, dog's been wanting attention tonight? You were you were saying something about that before. Oh yeah, I wouldn't do the show until my wife came home. She, she's the, I'm chopped liver. They know my wife's home. They're like, fuck you, guy. My, my mom's here. Yeah. By the way, Apple isn't your friend. Apple has been steadily positioning itself as the anti-Facebook for a while now. And between verbal jabs aimed at the social media uh, giant and privacy-focused product decisions, the patient goodwill campaign seems to be working. Unfortunately, <laughs> Apple isn't going to save us. And now's the time to keep your guard up. Boom, boom, boom. There's likely no other company on earth that has defined its brand more than Apple. Despite many examples that contradict its chosen set of associations, people generally think about perfectionism, ease of use, elegance, and innovation when they think about Apple. And due to its closed system of building its software and hardware in tandem with its long run as being the relatively virus-free alternative to Microsoft, the company has built a good reputation for security and privacy. Is this just clickbait, Doug? Take a look. Fucking clickbait. Next. What? Here's the thing. Yeah. There's a reason why Apple does what it does. Uh huh. If they Apple, want money. They want your own money. If Apple keeps a tight lip on certain things, and let's be honest, they are a company. They make fantastic products, but no, they're not your friend. Boom! 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 
It's the way that is. Dun, dun, dun. By the way, Doug probably knows about this, but Apple revises App Store rules after rejecting Valve's game streaming Steam Link app. Yep, no about Oh, it. yeah, that. So, yeah, that's what we were joking about the, the other time. We were like, it's like, oh, yeah, Apple, they don't want your games. Right. Well, they don't the have was, games at all. The, when it was rejected, originally it was rejected for apparent business conflicts. Yeah. Apple's not in the business of, you know, computer gaming. Yeah, they don't want you playing games. So, yeah, so they went in and we worked App Store rules to make it acceptable, I guess. And they find, so you're saying they buckled then? They said, we want money. We want your money. And they, and they need that money. You know why? Why? Hold on. Just wait for it. Latest class action lawsuit alleges all Apple watches are defective. Uh, We've recently seen no fewer than three class action lawsuits regarding the butterfly keyboard used uh, in the MacBook Pro, and now it's the turn for the Apple Watch. A new class action lawsuit claims that all models of the Apple Watch from Series 0 to 3 Series share the same defect. Panley Apple reports that the lawsuit claims that a defect results in the screen's cracking, shattering, or detaching. Excuse uh, me. That's funny because... Uh, they got a fix, no... What? My shit works perfect. Most people I know, their shit works perfect. There's a class action lawsuit, do uh, dog. There. Because uh, people don't know how to treat their fucking devices. That's why. The lawsuit seeks damages of $5 million. Apple has acknowledged two issues with the Series Zero models, extending warranties uh, to three years for both swollen batteries swoll, and detach <laughs> detached back covers. It later offered the same extension to certain Series 2 models with expanded batteries and identified a separate That's issue right. with some Series 3 models showing visible stripe markings on the display. Uh, I guess the puppy had to go potty. Doug, are you froze? Nope. Oh, your picture just didn't move on my screen. What What are your thoughts on that, Doug? In fact, is some people want free shit. You don't think that there might be a case? No. I mean, if this battery is swollen and the backs are popping off, I don't think it's just because everybody's beating the shit out of their watches. So sounds similar to what was going on with Samsung, except the explodey part. Because who, I'm who knew that you'd have to watch out for the watches? <laughs> derp, derp, derp. Well, check this out, guys. So, oh, I almost forgot this article. We were talking about Valve a minute ago. Or Steam, really, but I had one about... Wait for it. Steam ad accidentally reveals Just Cause 4. There's a fucking ads. There's a fourth Just Cause game on the way. It was probably due to be announced next week at E3, but people logging on to Steam right now are getting pre-order ads for it a little early. Here's the full ad for the full ad as it was served. Zoom enhance here. That's what your ads look like, Ian. You pop up Steam and a little pop up thing comes up with like three or four yeah. ads. Uh, okay. Clicking for details doesn't reveal any additional information or take you to the game store page. It just redirects to Steam's store front page. I can't remember the last time I had to write up a two new game announcements from the same game studio on the same day, even if in this case only one of them was actually meant to happen. So, boom, so boom, boom, boom. Frank, here's here's the question. Do you think the leak was intentional or did it happen just because? <sighs> <laughs> He's so proud, roll, baby. So see, Steam, roll. Here, here, that was a story about Steam, right? Here, here's one about Doug's favorite, Ubisoft. Ubisoft. 
Ubisoft. Ubisoft CEO. Cloud gaming will replace consoles after the next generation. Stupid. Okay, Better start next. Saving. Better start saving up for that PlayStation 5, uh, Xbox 2, or Nintendo Swatch. That last follow-up idea is a free to me, by the way. That, that generation of consoles might be the last one ever, according to Ubisoft CEO, uh, Yves Gilmont. Yeah, didn't we do an article like Sony was? It was pretty much like the PS Five is going to be the last, co- no last console <laughs> or something. Wow. Uh, after that, he predicts cheap local boxes could provide easier access to ever-evolving high-end game streaming to the masses with cloud-based servers. I mean, I mean, Steam basically has made it so you can stream from a computer to your fucking phone. Yeah. So all they gotta do is. In- install an app onto the steam link is basically a, a little dinky android device i mean why not right why not the the shield actually took off a lot better than i thought it would doug do you have yeah. any thoughts on this yeah the shield sold 20 units instead of 10 <laughs> right but doug do you what do you think though do you think the pl- PS5, because did you hear about rumors about that might be their last console or whatever? It's not going to be the last console. I've been telling you people since day one that there is no chance that there is going to be any cloud competing replacing your standard consoles for one simple reason. A minimum of 20 to 30 percent of all U.S. homes does not have acceptable broadband internet. And until they fix that, along with fixing rural areas, there's no fucking way. No fucking way. Wow. But people jump on the fucking hype train and do dumb shit just because yeah. they hear some buzzwords on the internet. Newsflash, you're stupid, you act stupid, and you should feel stupid. I don't know. I mean, the, the PlayStation 5, by the time that is out and has ran its course... We might have a different infrastructure by then. Who knows? Hey, Doug basically- has a good inter- <laughs> internet connection. Connection. Don't don't forget, SpaceX is going to be launching satellites to beam our internet down to us, and I can't wait. On to some more geek news here. Nerds, right? Seagate shows off 14 terabyte uh, Exos HD uh, promises consumer 14 terabyte drives in quarter four. Uh, excuse me. Seagate is among many companies that do not announce a new stack of products at every trade show because design in cycles of modern storage devices are fairly long, and the company is more inclined to meet its partner's schedules rather than to rush something for a trade show. At Computex, Seagate is demonstrating its flagship Enterprise Class 14 terabyte Exos hard drive, which was announced earlier this year. So, I mean, the Barracuda 10s and whatever have been like doing really well because they've uh, <clears throat> the Synology uh, devices have been launching with Barracuda drives because they they basically had to re you know brand themselves because for a long time their name was kind of mud. And I have I have no qualms with Seagate. I've always actually enjoyed their drives. What about those the Hitachi drives? Uh, Hitachi? I can't afford them. What I'll take whatever's got the most uh, uh, terabytes. And yeah. it's cheap. Well, what what are you rocking, Doug? You have all those stuff, and you're trying to build servers and stuff. What? What kind of hard drive space did you get? Uh, right now, once I get the server up and running, it'll be about six terabytes. Uh, to be, I think I have shit. Uh, Is that like rated? No. No. Uh, once I end up, you know, being able to find something specifically. For for that to make it a, a raid, I'll probably end up running 
uh, probably raid one or raid zero, depending on what I think. Mm. I want to go with it. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. I didn't like those raids. Ooh. Hey, this is what it is. You want that speed. You don't care about the you know, security of your data. Okay. Hope you don't have a drive failure, dog. No, the, his drives are all small. <laughs> about it. Not a specific I'm thinking about it. Well, basically, to be able to even duplicate what I have now, I'd need 15 terabyte. So, yeah. Anyway, I have I have an eight terabyte and two fair four terabytes. Lee and Lee made an RGB power cable because there's not much left to light up. Are those the power supply cables? Uh, th these are like yeah. those those extensions that everybody made a video on in the same time of the week. Basically, it wasn't really a cable as much as it was a, a piece of plastic that was attached to a comb. Uh. Um, I mean, they made... They also, I'm not released here, but they made uh, just the cable combs that light up, and once you run just a white ca you know, cable over top of it, when it lights up, the fucking cable lights up. That seemed like a more reasonable device than this. Yeah, I wonder if they'd ever be able to do like the EO. They call it the electroluminescent. I wonder if they could make that into like an RGB so you could change the color. Well, um, I think it was the guy Bitwit. His actually broke when he uh, when he was trying to test it because the the lead for the power was soldered on and. It, he was just trying to plug it in, and it broke. So he got a little video snippet of it working, and then it stopped uh, working. But, you know, aw. he didn't know it even existed. Right. So, I mean, they yeah, figured... I saw the, the link that you did with the yeah. SSD RGB. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paul's Hardware did a video of a build, and they have SSD uh, hard drives that actually have RGB on the, what, the casing, basically? Yeah. Because why the fuck not? Your goddamn computer is going to look like a rainbow. Why not? It's a box of Skittles. It's RGB me, baby. That's right. By the way, Gigabyte will sell you fake color-changing RAM. In the in the link I have where uh, Pulse Hardware goes to the booth where they're, they've got that 5 gigahertz 28-core uh, machine... If, I don't know if you actually saw the pictures of it. That was uh, using Gigabyte parts. And Gigabyte is also selling... They're getting into the RGB RAM game, yeah. and they notice that, well, you want all your you know RAM to be RGB, but you might not be able to afford, you know, what is it, 64 or whatever uh, gigs. So they'll sell you fake RAM. That's basically just the, you know, the heat spreaders with the lights and you'll be able to fill up all your, you know, RAM slots uh, for cheaper. Or you could actually, you know, use a regular, you know, full set of RAM with RGB. So either or, I mean, that's cool. It just sounds stupid when you say it out loud. Yeah. I want to know when they're going to put those uh, three uh, DRAM companies in jail already because they were supposed to be investigating them. They haven't gone down at all. I don't know. I also RAM. noticed when I was looking for uh, RGB RAM, uh, some of the companies actually make four gig sticks. So you could fill up all your slots for $50 a stick, but it's only four gig a stick. Yeah. So, but no one will know unless they, you know, actually go into your system settings and shit, but it'll yeah, be free. Yeah. I got to uh, wait for the, the RAM to go down because I just want to get my other two 16-gig sticks to have 64 gigs in. They have a device I actually found out recently that's a lot like the RGB uh, power supply uh, wires where basically it's heat spreaders that you screw onto whatever RAM you've got and then you connect it to a uh, an RGB header on your motherboard and it'll light up that way mm. but it the ram doesn't actually have to be inserted at all it's just lighting up the 
top part. But eh, it seemed a little, uh, eh, eh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I wonder if they'll start. Motherboards need more like RGB and fan headers on their motherboard. Well, and they need to treat it like PCI slots or whatever, you know, just have like a whole array of them on there. And they're getting there. By the way, I don't know if you saw Inwin's new 307 case. It's got RGB on the fucking front, dog. Do you see this? Oh, yeah. Dude's got Pac Man. Motherfucking Pac Man on his shit. Oh, yeah. Did, did you see a. Go ahead. Did you see Linus's video about the CPU core with a display on it? Yeah. There's two models. One's actually a big one, and the other one's just like a one inch. Yeah. We've seen countless RGB strips, fans, and even RGB cables here at Computex 2018. But in Win's 307 ATX, the uh, chassis instantly drew our attention from across the crowded show floor. In many ways, it's essentially an N1 303 with a brand new face. But oh, what a pixel happy animated RGB face it is. Doug, any thoughts? Yeah, are you squirting pixels over this? No. I mean, you got to admit that that's kind, that's kind of boss. <laughs> it's boss. Man. Well, it's like you might as well do something crazy with the front because it's not like you use optical drives or floppy disks in the front anymore, you know? Right. Bitch, please. Does, does any of you even use like the USBs in the front? Because I hardly even use those, you know? Nah. Well, there's some people out there who aren't like you two nerds. And? Oh, you're saying people that don't have computers with a USB 3? It's USB uh, version 1. I think Je Doug's saying he's jealous or something. <laughs> Bro, you jelly? No. I'm surprised you didn't have this uh, story in. Wait for it. What story? Microsoft snaps up GitHub for seven point five billion. I did see that. I wasn't. There was a lot of articles today. I, I you know, the whole thing's going on, and people are buying up companies and shit. Yeah. Uh, this could be good or bad, depending on who you ask. Well, don't you think like when company you see a lot of companies like weird companies buying or like weird transactions because it's like. Yeah, one company buys a whole unrelated unre company. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. I, shouldn't you stick into stick within your industry or something? You know, I don't. I was just like not liking some of the headlines. Yeah. Microsoft plan for GitHub make GitHub better at being GitHub. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <sighs> Reddit AMA asked me anything with Nat uh, Friedman doesn't really reveal a whole lot. As part of Microsoft's $7.5 billion purchase of cloud source uh, code repository GitHub, the company is installing a new CEO. Once the deal closes, which is expected to happen later this year, out will go GitHub co-founder Chris uh, Wanstrath and in will come Nat Friedman. Uh, Friedman is the former CEO of uh, Xamarin, the cross-platform .NET implementation that Microsoft bought in 2016. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, go ahead. The main downside I can see with this is like the it'll probably be more heavily regulated with what you know the types of code people put on there. They'll be like, oh, well, this is this type of code is proprietary. You know, like we Next. we have that shit. You know, Doug, you have any thoughts on this? I mean, we stop and think about it. It's not a, such. A bad thing for Microsoft to buy a, a company like that. They really fucking need it. Let's be honest here. Who GitHub does? Uh, no, Microsoft needs it. Oh because really? Their shit is shit, and somebody can make their shit less shit. Pretty good shit, if you ask me. Well, the it's just a platform for people to share with each other i i still think there's uh you know like 
can't, Microsoft can't just go in and steal that shit legally. I think it, there's probably, you know, that you have to obey the copyright on the, whatever you release on there, right? Because I usually see, like, this has a GNU license on the code or whatever. Uh, oh. I don't know, uh, Doug. Uh, what? N- no. Well, I mean, I'm saying I'm saying the code on there isn't going to be Microsoft. It's, it, it's it's the users, you know. They they it's just like a place to store their own code, you know, and sh- uh, share it, I guess. But still, I mean, it's it's going to be a good thing that way. Microsoft can get a lot of their shit together because of how badly their source code is written half the time. Well, you think they're going to find some better source code on there and be, uh, be able to apply it to their Windows? Somebody, somebody in GitHub can clean up half the shit they got. Maybe if they have a source code that won't fucking drop DLL and fucking EXE files every three months, it'd be fucking fantastic. <laughs> mm. Wow, Doug left and rejoined the chat a lot. Oh, yeah, for some reason... Uh, yeah, I, was, I saw that. So I had to jump out and come back in a couple times. Is it, is it Google's fault or Apple's fault, Doug? Uh, that'd be Google's fault. Yeah, because Apple could do no wrong, right? No, Apple's done wrong before. I'm not particularly happy with a couple of the uh, uh, software letdowns that they've had this past uh, couple weeks. Yeah, I heard somebody doing a review of the WDC thing or whatever, and it's like, it sounded yeah. like it was all just software improvements. Like, there wasn't soft. any new hardware shit, was there? Yeah, soft. it was all software. I, I thought there was going to be some hardware, at least one thing of hardware this year. There wasn't. I mean, I was a little, little disappointed, but I mean, is what it is, I guess. Did you see their market? It's all went, soft. Their shares in the market went down because uh, some Japanese newspaper said that they had heard that their uh, supplies were going to go down by, was it 40% or something? Hmm. Oh, it's all rumors. Scaring the shit out of them. So anyway, why the military can't quit Windows XP? The Pentagon's recent push to upgrade to Windows 10 won't leave all legacy Microsoft products behind. This <coughs> article is part of Update or Die, a series from future tense about how businesses and other organizations keep up with technological change and the cost of falling behind. When most organizations are deciding whether to upgrade their computers to the latest version of Microsoft Windows, they don't have to worry about life and death consequences. One exception to that rule is the U.S. Department of Defense, the nation's largest employer and a global spanning organization that must consider both cybersecurity risk and potentially fatal consequences uh, related to computer failures when making the choice to abandon legacy operating systems such as Windows XP. <clears throat> I'm not going to read the whole thing because... Our, our listeners are grown ups, but I that found was like this, X, please. I mean, I found this interesting, and I, you know, you think about it, you know, their infrastructure, if it's still running on XP, oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Any thoughts, Doug? Um, Should have gotten a Mac. How uh, how can you be surprised? I mean, well, maybe they'll get new OS on GitHub. <laughs> yeah, I just steal somebody's OS on there. Oh, it, it it's High Sienna. Don't worry, we can we install that on the Battle Station. Huh. NASA finds ancient organ. Organic material on Mars. Continuous search despite Doom's warnings. Got the got the joke there. See, because Doom took place on Mars. See, 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 see. So, no, really though, NASA, one of the uh, rovers on Mars, dug down into what they assumed was a a crater of a previous river or whatever, and they found organic material which they believe. Would be like seashell material is what I my understanding of it is. Hmm. So they said there could be something that was at one time alive on Mars, and they're like, 
So, but we're going there. I mean, I don't know. It, it's a long shot. My friend at work tried to find a stream about it, and then he saw it, and he's like, oh, that's nowhere near as interesting as I thought it was going to be. But, I mean, it, what, it does What seem are you talking like, about? We never, we can't go to Mars. We never left the planet. Yeah, that's right. It was a soundstage. That flag was waving, man. There's no air in space. <laughs> Besides, how do, you, how do you get there? There's, you can't get off the planet because it's all, it's all flat, you know? Oh, yeah, that's right. But back to our articles about computers and new stuff coming out. People are getting excited about PCs. Yes, PCs. And I I had to throw this article in here because it basically touches on my own personal thing of uh, I've had people tell me well, PCs are dead, man. No one cares about that. It's all about console and shit. People don't even build computers like they used to. Bullshit. Yeah, consoles are all swole. They got the tear. Please. Teraflops. I, I mean, it's anymore. Building a computer, you can't really fuck it up unless you're stupid. Yeah. Unless, well, unless it's you're like, special. Well, it's like I was telling Frank the other week. I, I don't know if you heard about that. Uh, that I see. Uh, Graphite, uh, these uh, thermal pads that you can actually use, and it's uh, Linus did a review on it. And it actually works pretty good. I, it's like fi- you can get one for like fifteen dollars, and you could just keep on reusing it. You don't have to worry about a mess of any thermal paste. And yeah, like I think that type of thing would make it way easier for somebody just starting off making, you know, putting a computer together. You know, <clears throat> I mean, just use like the if you look back at the old IDE drives and everything it was a pain in the ass if you saw a ribbon cable you go well i'm done i'm not gonna mess yeah, with this I, and that shit it, it like it what you couldn't get it to bend to like all the way to the other side of the computer you know right now cables and shit now it's almost like old phone cords you pinch one in and insert and there you go and it only goes one way yeah so or you know you push it in until it clicks and hey look how it works uh, you know or you could just break it like Frank. Shh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> somebody throwing shade. Not what your mama said. Um. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought that was, you know, it, uh, people are getting excited. And I like the thought of getting younger people into it because it, really Fortnite and all that shit run on they're esports games, so they run on cheap computers. You can build a couple hundred dollar computer to get them started, and then they'll get interested, just like a car. You get you give them a little thing, and they get tinkering with it, and they get good at, it, and they understand. They won't know they want more. I mean, I'm just waiting for somebody to post a video they had Fortnite running on their Android watch or something. I'm sure it could run on my toaster, just like Cody. What can't run Cody? Oh, speaking of, uh oh, a little sidebar here. Finally, in 2018, it has happened. What's happened? The original first generation Apple TV. Basically, this guy right here mm-hmm. is no longer supported by Apple. Mm-hmm. Only as local storage. However, you can run Cody and also apparently run Tiger operating system on this guy. So, huh. I have one. I just haven't messed with it since, basically, since they stopped supporting it. Well, the the last couple of small things here and there, basically, uh, uh, just came back and haunted it, and it was basically the last couple of vestiges. You know, is what it was. Last couple of what? Last couple of vestiges of use, like uh, couldn't it like it's, it could still um, connect to iTunes and, and use things like that, but they, they finally cut it off. 
Oh. Uh, by the way, I'll just uh, Apple Talk made me think about what's going on with Ben. Frank, is he bet? Is he? Uh, He's in an undisclosed location. Is I he? Do not, I do not speak for my brother. I'm not my brother's keeper. Well, how is he doing though? Pretty good. He's in an undisclosed location. <laughs> I cannot give him smoke signals from where he is at. Uh. His secret underground bunker is not uh, does not have a landline. <laughs> and besides, landlines went out for a day, if you remember that. Right. I have an article about that, but I don't care enough to read it. Anyway, oh. MSI made a tiny dragon hologram, and I want it now. Look at this cute little guy. Ain't he fucking cute? Although exact pricing and timing have yet to be determined, the MSI Gaming Premium Stack GPS is coming to your new uh, is coming to be your new virtual best friend. GPS is comprised of four parts: the immersive G870 headset, a wireless charger for your smartphone, the Lucky Box, the hologram projector, and the stand to house it all. MSI is planning to sell a few different configurations of the GPS. We were able to glean that there will be a three hundred nine hundred dollars setup that will. Uh, net you everything but the gaming headset, but pricing for the whole bundle has yet to be announced. So, I mean, okay. I mean, people buy those Nintendo, uh, what, what the hell they call those little things? I forget already. The, the Amiibos. No, the Amiibos, uh, little figurines and other. Yeah, I, I got that. Uh, I decided to try that. That Mario cereal, which they has like an amiibo code on the bo box. Uh huh. I mean, it was okay. It was pretty much just like Lucky Charms, but with like Mario shapes, you know, like the uh, question mark blocks and like mm. flower or whatever, you know. Yeah. Speaking of Nintendo, this guy gave his Game Boy cam camera a Canon EF lens mount. Huh. I had like. Two or three articles, because once once this article came up, it was linked by different websites that had the same fucking story, just different titles and shit. We've seen a Game Boy camera used with a telescope and with smartphone lenses, but photographer uh, Bastian Eckler did something even more unusual. The designer he designed and built a Canon EF lens mount for his. So I guess he three looks like he three D printed it. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I would do something like that. Look at look at that crazy shit. Okay, hold still. Yeah. I mean, well, like, you can bu you can buy uh, you know, like mounts and stuff for your uh, DSLR camera that just like moves the actual lens up farther away, so it makes pretty much makes it focus at a smaller distance, so you could use it like a macro camera then. By the way, you and I have a uh, Asus parts in our rigs. Asus, yes. No keyboard, no problem. Welcome to the dual screen laptop era. Weak. <laughs> we keep hearing that voice is the next interface, but the tech world is still pretty darn obsessed with screens. Screens. Screen. Weak. Weak. At Computex in Taipei this week, the world's biggest PC and gaming manufacturers have been showing off their latest kit, and there's one overwhelming trend. Why have one screen when you can have two? <clears throat> Since the very first laptop started weighing down our legs and our messenger bags in the 80s and 90s, the design hasn't really changed. They've gone thinner, lighter, and brighter, but we've largely always worked with physical keyboards uh, below digital displays. <clears throat> According to Intel's Senior Vice President of Client Computing, uh, Gregory Bryant, the next laptop you buy could look radically different. So basically, the bottom part is a digital keyboard, and it's a fucking screen. So... Now, you, you see, that's kind of a good idea. Like they Or crazy, I guess, whatever way you want to think about it. They, they should... You know how they have that, uh, like that triple monitor laptop or whatever? Yeah, but Project, uh, what the fuck was it called? Maver or, I can't remember now. 
Well, it's just like at that point, you might as well just like make attachable screens then, so you could just have like a laptop that comes out like a you know the like a people have those wallets and stuff that with all those credit cards just flop out. Project Valerie, that was it. Yeah, like just have an or accordion of just like screens, you know. Well, this Asus laptop portrait screens. has a 5.5 inch display where the trackpad should be. <gasps> Unbox Therapy, uh, they did a video with that. It's like it's just a little touch screen, like on your you know phone. So instead of a trackpad, you could put the calculator in there or little apps. All right. See, I, that would be something up, you know, like Apple would do. But it's like me and Frank, we got to have some kind of feedback, right? Tactile. I mean, yeah, tactile feedback. Like you would never do those key, like those laser keyboards that project oh. onto the, your no. desk or whatever. No, I got to know that I'm fucking pressing buttons. Yeah. But Asus announces an unreasonably fast 802.11ax gaming router. Look at this fucking thing. It's like upside down spider <laughs> that got fucked by a computer. Yeah, no, they got fucked by the that <clears throat> malware. Right, it's still early days for the next generation of Wi-Fi, but Asus is getting a head start. The company has announced three upcoming routers that all support the new standard, dubbed 802.11ax, for delivering hmm. faster Wi-Fi. They're all supposed to arrive sometime this fall. The announcements are headlined. Uh, in a Republic of Gamers branded model, the ROG Rapture GT AX uh, 11,000, which looks like it came out of a Halo level and includes a literal turbo key you can press to speed things up. <laughs> this mm. router has some incredible theoretical speeds that speak to what 802.11 AX is capable of. It has a single 2.4 gigahertz band that's supposed to reach speeds of 1148 megabits a second and has two 5 gigahertz bands that each supposed to reach uh, 48,004 megabits a second. They're also, there's also a 2.5 gigahertz Ethernet port. Now, what what is like that compared to like the different cat type of cable, like Ethernet cables? Or is it that supposed to be pretty much faster than it even being a power line? It's two and a half gigabit Ethernet ports. Is it what? Is anything Did, even uh, those limits will be way beyond modern internet speeds? One gigabit is considered remarkably uh, remarkable right now, but that means you won't be able to take advantage of them at least to that extent. So basically, they're like, you know, someday you'll be able to fucking use it to its full potential. Till then, it'll be you know, it's, yeah, I know. it's like you own a Ferrari, but you you know you only l drive two miles to work a day. Yeah, down a dirt road and sit in traffic. Well, it's just like having a Ferrari in the city. I mean, but I had two last uh, AMD articles, and then I'm done, sir. Okay. Doug, do you have any thoughts on this stupid, crazy fast uh, router? AMD's nuts. I'm actually surprised that we're not seeing uh, more NAS integration right now. To be honest. Oh. Yeah, like I, I agree with that. It's like, why isn't there more routers with like tons of USB shit on there? You know. Well, I mean, you can hook up anything to a router. You could run multiple yeah, but, routers in your house. But I saw like uh, at the first advent of the N routers that we we're seeing more routers that had NAS uh, abilities built in. That way, you know, if you wanted. You know, if, right. subset like I, I honestly thought we were going to get more modular with the uh, with the AX band, and actually get ones that had like like a hot swap or something along those lines, or even I, I, we could put in like a couple terabytes of storage and you know I I thought that whole concept really I hate to say was dead with the uh, the whole uh, the Apple option um what was it the time yeah. machine yeah. I, I had I had a base station and I had a drive connected to it and eh eh I fi I figured it was just eh gimmicky personally but you me? know me whenever whenever they refine it and make stuff better you know sure whatever cool yeah I was actually surprised we didn't see more of that 
AMD announces Radeon 56 Vega Nano graphics card is available now. <gasps> and a uh, second link copy. Hmm. I said, Pichu. yeah, you you've always been like interested in like the smaller versions of the cards, huh? Well, no, I mean, as long as it's faster and better, smaller is just easier to handle. Because when they say a two slot, sometimes it's a two and a half, and two slot is really like the way they space out, you know, your PCIe slots. So that's the good thing about Threadripper. With my consideration for my next build, doesn't matter which slot you stick it in, it's still going to be sixteen, you know, speed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, but, it's like, eh, I'd rather it be bigger so I feel like I'm getting something better than eh, yeah. Eh. If, unless it's got bright lights on it, who cares? AMD confirms 7 nanometer GPUs are coming to gamers. Sure. So they got the Vega, Vega 7 nanometer, Navi, and then next gen. So... I mean, eventually, now that now that the mining has pretty much slowed the fuck down, hopefully it doesn't pick back up. Dear Lord, I hope it never does. Thoughts for either of you guys? See, I, I figured Doug would be the type of person that would be into the mining with all that, like the his stuff that he tries to get for free, you know. You're not really getting all your free though if you're a miner. Miner. Hey Doug, what do you get when you drop a piano down a mine shaft? A flat miner. Want <laughs> want want. Okay, so that's my last story for the night. Hey, uh, have both of you guys seen Infinity War? No, I have yes. Okay, I will. Uh, I will uh, neglect from saying the really awesome Avengers joke. Then, oh, okay, Spoil it has insane spoilers. Then, uh, yep. Well, did you uh, did you see the Deadpool yet? Yep, I have not. Yeah, I haven't either. But I'm surprised Frank hasn't because he's he's all about the Deadpool. I'm lazy, and I don't like going out with people. I'm probably gonna go in the middle of the day. To a theater no one gives a shit about. So I can go in when there's not 900 people laughing, but you got to yeah. watch it twice. Yeah, mom and her kids taking her kids, even though they shouldn't go there. Right. right. Well, like, you know, when a bunch of teenagers, ah, ha, 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 but laugh before the fucking joke's even told. <laughs> so you got to see it twice to even hear the fucking dialogue. No. Yeah. No. Ah, son. No. Well, I know you're going to, you're definitely going to be excited to go see that uh, Guardians, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, that's I'm the not... only reason that Frank's going to be watching it. You would watch the Infinity War was because of the Guardians in there. Yeah, it's it's the you know first one I'll be able to watch. Yeah. You know, until Guardians 3 comes out, and that's going to be a minute. But anyway... Are you guys going to see that? Doug, are you going to go see the uh, Captain Marvel or Ant-Man? Yes. Yeah. Nah. I don't give a shit. Well, I wasn't asking you. You said okay. guys. That's plural. So quit your fucking lying. I said I said dog. No. That's talking to dog. No, you weren't. Well, you think everybody's talking to you, Frank? So. Well, yeah. I have a microphone and a headset. <laughs> you gotta be talking to me. You're talking to me. You're talking to me, Willis? Frank's the only one you should be talking to. The only one that matters, right? I mean, you know, I I am streaming right now. If I, I wanted to quit, I could just close. and. <laughs> so, really, when I leave, it matters. Yeah. Show's over, everybody. Turn the lights out. Let's get to sweeping up. Put these chairs up. Shit. You ain't you got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here. That's right. You can take the centerpiece if you want it, Doug. I don't care. 
And Doug's like, I'm going to make you go home. I am home. Shit. Well, bye, everybody. Actually, uh, before we do go, D Doug, do you have anything to plug or anything going on? Like, what's going on with your, like, your stories and stuff? And well, uh, still working on the stories. Um, I've been uh, formulating a couple different things for for the future, as far as other projects as well. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, be able to do another podcast, hopefully this Sunday. I'm not making any uh, particular promises for Sunday. Okay, uh, well, you can invite me if you want. Okay, if I do, I'll, I'll be sure to give you a, a ring-a-ding. Um, uh, still putting up vids on the YouTubes. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where you're going to see the most action out of me. Uh, <coughs> possibility I might have another video on YouTube tonight, although I just put one up a couple days ago. Um, yeah, you've been getting swole with all those cardio conventions I see on your channel. Oh, yeah. Uh, cardio is very important, trust me. So, Leg day. So, yeah, always you know, keep your head out there. Uh, you know, just don't be like Frank. <laughs> What's wrong with Frank? Nothing. He's the boss. Does he even lift? <laughs> and that's a no, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I lift every shit every day at work, son. I, I, I you got the, you got the guns going. No, <laughs> no. You got the triple point, Doug. Right. The triple point right there. See that? Oh, yeah. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Look at my underarms, dog. There's no hair there. It means I'm more aerodynamic when I fight. There you go. Yeah. Don't hate. You can't relate. What are you benching now, Doug? Uh, my regular, my, my machine uh, chest press is at 300. Uh, I haven't actually done like, a, like an actual bench press in ages, though. Uh, so I just was fucking around and started off at 100. Uh, my machine bench press is about up to 160, 180, I believe, though. So we'll okay. get that 100 in due time. What can you uh, do? You do any deadlifts like Furious Feet? Well, I tore my hamstring a couple years back, so I don't really do deadlifts that much. Uh, when I do, it's light deadlifts. So. You you try to go straight to the like the seven hundred pounds like he did. No, no. The road to seven hundred. Yep. More like the road to these nuts. These nuts. Well, everybody, thanks for coming on and enjoying the show. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having us, buddy. You're the one that invited us on here. Yeah. Hopefully next week we'll be back to the regular scheduled broadcast with Ian doing his thing and actually yeah, Frank music. misses his tunes that he made for the show. Yeah. Here, let me do the outro. <laughs> 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 Boobs. Boobs. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming on. Have a good evening. Doug's got to go get swole. So. Hey. Swole is a goal. Size of the prize. It's Gaze O'Clock, motherfuckers. Let's go. Right. Okay, guys. Thanks for coming on.